and I'm like, shit, the doors is locked. And I don't know where the bathroom is down there. And I panic. I'm like, I'm like, fuck. I'm like looking around, like, and I just go like this. You pee your. <laughs> Yo, so I go like this. I go like this. I just go like this. I go to the wall, and I just said, close my eyes. And I just let him. <laughs> Let, wait, 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 wait. I let you, that motherfucker rip, bro. You didn't even think, let me go pee in the bush. <laughs> no. You said, bro, it was like, damn, it, I really got to pee. Yo, Ty, I, Ty Rose. I can't, I got to. <laughs> Dang, I'm it missed so, the spill and everything. I'm That's so nice. Damn, bro. Welcome back to the episode of the <laughs> podcast, episode number 97. I'm your host, Darren. Hey, I don't give a fuck. Welcome back. I'm welcome with the host, Tyrone. Oh, my gosh, Yeah, bro. top up, bro. Yeah, we just lost um, 30 minutes worth of good content that y'all would never, ever see in your life. Oh, my fucking God. Should I even go? I mean, I didn't use up all, any of my, all the topics. Yeah, I didn't even use them on mine yet. But bro. that was some good shit. Oh, my God. I, that was so some great. I, that was some great heat, bad. bro. Wait, so there's like no, like the phone doesn't even save it? No, the phone saved it. Oh, I mean, so. I can, but it's not, it's going to sound weird. It's going to sound echoey. Oh, because it's coming through the phone. Yeah, I lost all the audio. <sighs> I hate my life, coach. I hate my there's not life. like a, there's not like a, a guy who, <laughs> who has that damn. God, God, every damn. time. It's always with you. I ain't going to lie. This is like the second Yo, time. Yo, this is the second time. Oh, <laughs> this ever happened with, besides with me, when, uh, when we did it, when me and UJ did our first shit. Yeah. This ever happened before or no? Uh, I think with Chris and them. No, Chris, it was just fuzzy. But uh, welcome back to another episode of No Reckless Podcast. We lost a good 40 minutes of content because I did ask. It was some good shit. Me and Tyron will try to recreate it. I doubt it will ever happen, though. But. <laughs> Fuck it, my All right, Should I even bring this question up? Should I, even, should I even bring any of the questions back or should I just go back to some new shit? Uh, we can run it back another day, bro. We can run it back another day. Yeah, next next pod we Fuck have or somewhere. Me. Yeah. Fuck we'll go to the next one. Damn. God damn it. No, nah, I actually wanted to. I'm about to find a different. Save no, nah, save that. To, save that question. I'm about to. Why don't we go? We go run that shit back. We nah, go run that say, question. I'm about back. to put it in my notes right now. Actually, it's it's on the Patreon. Go subscribe to the. That shit on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> that shit on the Patreon I'm trying to We be trying to tell y'all To lock in with the Patreon And niggas that Yo I'm not gonna lie Damn bro. <laughs> That was so That was so much heat bro I'm Fuck so rolling. mad Oh god bro <laughs> I seen his brother Actually at the barbershop Where I got my haircut That <laughs> we talked about Fucking god bro I don't even know why I talk to guys who don't know, bro. D got a haircut bro And I got a beard Bro he you don't got know a beard why, You don't even know bro. why My you, voice no sounds clue. like this Shout out to camp. Russ Shout out to my campers. Free Russ. Not even free Russ. This is the wrong saying, bro. Blame <laughs> Russ, bro. Like, <laughs> All right, bro. I got to start off with a question. I got to start with something funny. Remember, I'm going to write down that one question we was talking I'm about. putting it in my notes. Yeah, put that in your notes. Gonna, gonna, when, when you come back on the podcast, we're going to bring that shit up. We're going to run back that whole scene. God damn it. Fuck it. All right, bro. I got a question for you. So, damn. would you rather be 600 pounds and addicted to food? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have the fucking footage. But like, no, look at <laughs> Would you rather be 600 pounds and addicted, addicted to food, food or 120 pounds addicted to crack? <laughs> <laughs> yo, what? yo, time out, bro. Before I even think. Yo, time out. Yo, time out. Yo, don't. Hey, yo, there's two things. Yo, you chose the right question. Hold on. I got to empty my pockets because I got to get comfortable for this one, bro. There are two things that this man knows that I hate. I hate crackheads and I hate fat people. So, so like number one, crackheads are not human and fat people have no drive. I don't respect either of the types. Bro. Now there are people who are just a little thick. You feel me? But if you're obese, I don't respect you as a human being, right? Because you can fix that. That's fixable. Yo. Now let me go back to the question: fat and addict. Oh my gosh! So a fucking <laughs> a fucking loser or an animal? Are you serious right now, yo? Yo, yo, yo. Um, so would I rather be a a disgusting loser? <laughs> yo, a disgusting or, loser is crazy. Or borderline roadkill. <laughs> yo, yo. A crackhead that's one twenty. I'm addicted to crack. Yeah. <laughs> 
six hundred pounds, bro. Or addicted to food. I'm gonna be damn. I might be addicted to food. At least I'm. Bu- at least I'm eating something busting. <laughs> and now, you, yo, but a crackhead, you don't get. But yo, this is the craziest question of my life. Yo, I don't even know. I can't like because I'm thinking. All right, if I'm fat, like <laughs> you can't move. I can't. So there's no way I survive the apocalypse. You no. don't feed me for a day. I'm gonna have food withdrawals. I'm gonna start scratching myself for food. Now I'm gonna turn to basically a crackhead. Yeah. If I'm a crackhead. Nobody's gonna respect me. I'm basically on the street begging for bread so I can buy more crack <laughs> needles in my like. I'm over here. You saw the video I put on my snap, yeah. On my where the crack was laying in the ground, yeah. In the middle of the ground. I be seeing the crazy shit. See, the reason I feel this way is because I'm traumatized, bro. <laughs> Being in Newark, bro, the amount of crackheads I see, bro. Either I'm not gonna have, damn. Because if I'm a crackhead, my mom and dad not gonna like they go dish me off. Yeah. But if I'm fat, I'm gonna be a disappointment. Yeah. <sighs> I think I go. I can't just die. No. <laughs> I can't just not live. No. Yo. You gotta pick one, bro. I will be fat. At least I'm six hundred. But I can't move. But at least I'm enjoying my food. I'm gonna die. I clearly got breach if I'm fat. Yeah. Clearly, because I'm eating yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah. Like I got breach, right? Like I yeah, got a regular got job. Like yeah. I'm working from home. Clearly, because yeah. I can't move. <laughs> yeah. All right. You Man. might die in a couple You're years. Sweating all the time. Yeah. You can't even wipe your ass. But you a crackhead, you got a fiend. Like you like you on the streets. You, you're a crackhead, you'd rather not wipe your ass. Yeah. Just rather, <laughs> right, just go get some crack. Me, make me fat, bro. Make but, me yeah, fat. Yeah, make bro. me fat, bro. Then not fa- I'm not fat shaming people. Maybe Tyrone is. But nah, he's just, I fat shame. He's just trying to push out to be our best human beings I possibly could be. You're and better being than fat. Is not like it. if you're fat, like you feel me? Now here's the difference too. If you're young, like in high school, I don't think anybody's really fat. Like High school and, and middle school, I don't think anybody's ever fat because you're growing into your body. Uh huh. That's different. But if you're like 26 and fat, <laughs> you're, you're losing me. You're losing me. Okay, what's fat? Fat is obese. Now, you can be big boned or kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bigger. I'm talking about like if you 300. You can be 300. All right, if you 306. But five, you might be ock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 65 is different. You feel me? And you could, you could have a little bit of some, but obese is like where. I tell you to go up the steps and grab me. And you get tired. My, grab my phone for me. You're like, bro, come on. I can't. I can't do that. Like, you have to catch your breath to speak. Yeah. yeah. You're obese. Or if, like, say you feel me, you're like, you put your arm out uh-huh. and, like, you can't hold it out for more than, like, 10 seconds because yeah. your arm will get tired. You're done up. Your cardiovascular system has to be, you not even, you don't even have to be in shape to run, but, like, like if you your adrenaline pumps, you better be able to run. You better not be like, oh, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you can't move, bro. You wow. should be able to move around. We're, hu- we're, we're human beings, bro. Feel me? I don't know. I Yeah, if, I'll take fat, but... Fuck it, bro. Rod Wave? You don't like Rod Wave? I hate that nigga. Why? I, Rod Wave music. is so... He's he's soft and fat. Like, it's like... He's... So the music he makes... Built up you can't be that inside. depressed, though, with Breach. Like, you can make... like. Oh, nigga, man, money like, don't buy you happy. It's not even that. You could be sad. Like I fuck with Bryson Tiller. You feel me? Give you on all them. Nah, they sad, bro. <laughs> feel me? Even Drake sad. You feel me? He's old shaz. I fuck with it, but he's fat. Mm-hmm. I don't like singing fat niggas. I don't like fat niggas. But like a singing fat dude. A singing fat dude is not here. Not for the. Not for the team. Damn. Like I know guys who are bigger, but they go to the gym. So do you like Mark Henry? Bro, but his cardiovascular system is decent. He throws names. I do you like obese uh, is the problem. Maybe fat is the wrong word. Obese. Okay. Feel me? He's not obese because like he'll walk in here, and like I'm feel me. He'll probably throw me. Yeah. Feel me and not get tired. Maybe now he little. So no, Mark Henry was. So if you if we lived in the nineties, you picking Tupac over Biggie just because Biggie fat. Oh what? <laughs> what is Biggie gonna do to me besides like shoot? I mean yeah, but like. Nah, Biggie, he's fat. You feel me? He's rapping and he has to do the, oh. That was him catching his breath. That ad lib was not a, like him to feel me make the music better. That was he couldn't yo, breathe. You feel yo. me? That, he's he's mid, bro. I'm not, yeah, Tupac. And I'm from the East. Tupac. <laughs> Wait, Tupac is from the West. That's what I'm saying. I'm from the East. I should be oh, picking wow, Biggie. Wow, I'm wow. picking Tupac, yeah. Damn, they going to get your ass. Yeah. <laughs> but, all right. Before we was rudely interrupted, I'm so mad. Can I, should I ask one of these questions at least? At least the future one? Should, I, should we do the future one again? Yeah, you can. Ask. Yeah, we'll, you might as well ask that one. We'll, we'll leave that other one for when Chris All right, Actually, me. yeah, ask it, ask it toward the end. Okay, yeah. You want to ask it again? Ask it towards the end. Towards the end? Or like after, yeah, after a little bit. All right, all right. Get back. Yeah. All right, we'll do it. All right, all right. So, 
I'm like scared because I'm looking at it and it's like it's like it's like I'm put, it's putting fear in my heart right now. Like no, because the reason why it, it went away is because like I I pr- I started it, but like it wasn't next to it, and I got like OCD. So oh, I went, wow. I tried to reverse it, and that shit cleaned the other one. And I was like, you my tried life. to move, like 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 to you hit the start. And the, email. Okay. The, no, it's not the start. It's like so like on a laptop, if you press Command Z, it yeah. reverses. Yeah. Okay. So okay. it reversed that whole shit. And took it away to like square zero. And I was like, God, like, why me? Like, like, yo, I'm just, I'm trying. I, I only got a voice. I got, a, I don't got a voice because me and Tyra work at a basketball camp. We told that, talk about it in the, in the oh first my episode. Gosh. First episode. Yeah, Shout out yeah. to all my campers. If you're watching this, I'm going to tell you how to watch it because it's me and Tyrone. It's, it's only right. Yeah. You don't yeah, got to yeah, watch any other episode. episode. This is you a camp, camp, episode, camp, yeah. camp counselor. Yeah. Bro, I think yeah. my calling is with kids, low key. <laughs> Paul's word. Yeah, that was crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was that was really nah, crazy. Nah, low key. Nah, I think low key work really good with like <laughs> yeah, the children, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like yo, the one on ones today. Oh, it was. It was Shout out to my boy Ali, bro. <laughs> nah, he was getting cooked. <laughs> Ali, yo, <laughs> he was just too strong. Oh, all, all strength, but he was getting fried. Yeah, it was all. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. When that when um I forgot when what's the young boy? Uh, Caleb. That's my guy. Yeah, yeah, he was going crazy. That nigga's gonna be od. Yo, he was going crazy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He might be the. Cause like at, like when I went to Rutgers camp, there was a couple of niggas that went D one. He might be one of them. Damn. There's Damn. one I think he plays for like Arkansas now. His name's like Caleb or some shit like that. Damn. Yeah. You know he's tough. He's like, tough. You know, you know what I'm talking about? K- Caleb. There's a nigga that plays for Arkansas. His name's like Caleb Battle. Nah, and he went to Rutgers North camp. Nah, yeah, he went to Rutgers North camp. Me and St. Anthony's camp. There's you a know who went to Rutgers North camp that goes to Rutgers North now. Who? Russell Yala. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know who else used to? I used to go to Rutgers North camp with. Who? Dude from uh, Keen. Little dude from Keen. Jameson, oh, he went to Rutgers. Okay, yeah, him, I, him, and my dad. His dad and my dad are like great friends, actually. Oh, what the heck? Like from they Jersey played, City? yeah, they played at sense. NJCU together. His mom, my Makes dad sense. told me his mom was OD at basketball. Yeah, damn. So like, I didn't know like they knew each other like that. I was like, the fuck, like this, like my dad said he knew him since he was a little kid. Nigga, we used to go to camp all the time. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, damn. But yeah. I got, I got something to talk to you about, bro. <laughs> So, last time you was on the pod, we kind of went viral for talking about mm-hmm. how the Adam and Eve shit I was telling you about mm-hmm. with the um, de- uh, declassified documents. But now, I want to tell you about something I was watching earlier before. I think I talked about this before, but I don't remember. Mm-hmm. So, do you know who is the earliest, like, what is who or what is the earliest civilization that we know of, like known to man? Do you know what, what they're called? <clears throat> Him. I don't know. So, so the oldest known civilization that we ever know know about that have like record of were the Sumerians. Did you ever hear the Sumerians? Sounds familiar. So, I mean, there's a lot of shit about Sumerians. Like they have like the texts and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So they were based off in like Iraq and shit. Like oh, that's where they was. were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they was in Iraq, and their main note, their their reason why we're so like. Not, I would say I wouldn't say confused, but I'll say like intrigued because they like okay. in clay they had pictures of our solar system. Oh. Oh wait, I think your shit turned off. Good. Wait, like plug it in, plug it back in real quick. All right, you cool? You cool? good? Yeah, you cool? Yeah. So they had pictures of our solar system. Mm-hmm. Like they had, they knew where the sun was. They put they put every single planet in the right order, and they put the sun right in the middle. It's weird because then. You go to like George Washington on them. They thought they we were did. the center. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, how did they know that? Where they learned that from? And then they also had like depictions Watch. and like drawings in clay of like these little tall creatures, or whatever. And they were like holding like little monkeys on their laps. So that's like, where the fuck that what? come from? What on what? Like tall ass. Like they're what they're bringing animals in here. I don't know if they're bringing animals or they're changing animals. And it's also weird that they had the, like, you know, the DNA sim- symbol for, like, medicine, like, how it's, like, the swirly shit? Yeah, yeah, they had those. They had that. Like, they had they drew out DNA of what it looked like. A DNA strand. Like, a, a strand of DNA, they had, a like, a picture of it on, like, hieroglyphics. So, it's like, where did they figure that out? Where did they learn this from? Where, what, how, yeah. And it's, like, and it's crazy because, like, we, we were taught in school that back in the days, everything was hunter-gatherers, cavemen. But yeah. this was 6,000 years ago. This was the first civilization that we they know had, of. They, had, they like, had technology that niggas, like you said, George Washington not only didn't that, Just know. to be able to recognize that. The fact that you even know what a DNA strand is. Exactly. Or even to draw a figure like that is OD. That's what I'm saying. Like, did we get it? Like, where did they get it from? 
And it makes me think, like, were we really advanced back then? And that shit really did. Yo, I think we were mad advanced back, back like, way before. And mm-hmm. then I think, like, one of those, like, catastrophic events happened. happened. Yeah. Whether it's meteorite. We could have been around during the dinosaurs. You never know. Whatever. Yeah. Something like that happened. Killed us. Might have been even when, like, the Ice Age might have hit, right? Yeah. And actually killed us. And we only had, like... 3,000 people left, so we lost all of our knowledge for everything, yeah. medicine and everything. And then after that catastrophic event happened, then I think now we had to rebuild and restart. Mm-hmm. And I think the next one that might happen is global warming. Yeah, it's getting me? hot. Yeah, it's getting hot. Bro, it's been like 95 the past eight days. Yeah, it's not really. It's not, we're not used to 90s. 90s is OD. Like, we'll get it here and there, but if it's 90, we chill in a crib. Now everybody yeah. chill in a crib every day. Exactly. But I think, too, like... That happened, and now we restarted, and now we're coming back to it. But I think when we restarted, we got, like, even dumber because, like, the type, think of the shit, like, George Washington and all of them, like, mm-hmm. believed, like, all the shit, like, feel me? They, they really believed we was in the center, for real. Like, the center, you feel me? All that stuff, it just, I don't know. That's crazy, though, that these niggas, they taught us when we, <clears throat> when we was in school yeah. that... All they did was hunt and gather. They yeah, they said, not yeah, smart. use fire. We discovered fire. That was our best invention. Exactly. It was fire. The wheel. Yeah. yeah. The wheel. Damn. But these niggas know the solar system. Like, how do they see the solar system? Who's that? That's why. That's why. I feel like aliens. I feel like more people know about it. Believe aliens are real nowadays. Aliens got to be real, bro. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, bro. There's too many. I'm not going to. This. When do you think they're gonna? We're gonna see. When's the first? What and how long do you think we're gonna see aliens? Like how like many the years? First right alien? Now? Yeah. Do you think we're gonna be like, oh shoot, alien? Like on TV, alien just walked out of his hovercraft. Oh 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 oh! I'll say twenty years. I give it twenty. I got like ten. Ten. Like, mm, dude, oh, that's gonna be crazy. I think ten. It's gonna be crazy. ten to fifteen in between there. It's gonna be crazy because. With all this AI generated shit, they could fake that shit very easily. If you want to be completely honest, yo, you honest. seen the AI generated babies, bro? Yes. Everybody's making their own children. Yes. This is not. I've seen my cousin hold a baby. I'm like, what? I'm like, nigga. I seen somebody post it on like their Instagram. I thought he had a kid. I'm bro, like, this, when this nigga have a you kid, you can literally forge anything. Exactly. I can make a fake life for an entire human being through AI, bro. I don't know if Chris wanted to talk about this on his pod, but he might bring it up. Yeah. They made a whole AI generated reality TV show, and you, they put they put like celebrities in it. Like it was Tom Holland and like Cardi B in a house, like a like a reality TV show. So it's Bro. like, what would we be, like? In, imagine this now. Imagine 10, 20 years. We're not gonna know what is real or what is fake at, at all. Bro, you can't even know now. They have AIs that will make. An entire show for you generate pictures, a song, song, songs, and they be busting. Yeah, yo, like there's so much stuff by AI that happens. Like, you can have AI change, like your faces. AI that can change, like literally, how you get rid of all like any blemishes on your face, change your haircut, make it look real. Yeah, you feel me? It could an AI that would generate to like you. You take a couple pictures of yourself, Mm. make have make a picture of you doing an action. Yeah, like bro, that's That's bad. bad. I don't, I don't like it. So, Man, but fair. I could see <laughs> ten years we'll see an alien. I don't know about walking off the thing. I say like ten years that nigga gonna crash land. We pull him out. Like somebody's gonna have. Nah, it. I think like oh they're gonna like, alien like, contact. We. I think because the, they're warming us up to it, bro. They're like I think on the lowest of keys, there's like a couple living amongst us, and they're gonna be like, yeah, it was. Do you watch Secret Invasion? What's that? Oh it's no, I never watched it yet. I yeah, me it yet. and what's the name was just talking about it. Uh, Alex, yeah, bro. I just it's like scroll, so they shape shift mm-hmm. and they change, like look like somebody. Yeah, yeah. I think aliens, low key. Some people just be looking odd. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So like, I know a lot of people that look at me. I feel like they're just watching me, watching me what I do. I ain't gonna lie, they probably are. Yeah, no. Nah. And it, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I I say this. I say this for the last three pods. They be think like like bots. Like bots in this world, like imagine the government created an AI robot and he just threw him into the, into the society just to see how he could act and see if it's possible to work. And I'd be thinking some of these people I work with is bots. If somebody, <clears throat> if somebody close in your circle, right? It could be mm-hmm. your mom, your sister, one of the homies. Anybody was replaced with an AI. How long do you think it would take you to figure out that they were AI? Like a whole mm-hmm. bot? Oh, my parents. It might take me a minute. 
because I don't really hang out with my parents as much as I used to, and Libby really don't really leave the the room. Okay, so low key, if Libby me. was a bot, like you, <laughs> it might take me. It might take me like years. Yo, <laughs> like like years or like, why did you months. get? Why did you like get to all that was going on? Yeah, it's like like <laughs> like, like I would, it would take me a minute. Damn, and she might go to school. Yeah, it's done up. You like, imagine, imagine Yo. somebody we know is like replaced with a robot. We never know. Yo. How long would shit? it take for you to figure out one of the members or one of your homies is a is a is a robot? Let me think. For you, Jay, I think it's easy. It's easy and hard for you, Jay, because UJ is very weird and a different person. But like that might be easy to replicate. I think I was gonna say I think for him it would be the hardest to notice because he doesn't ever really switch up. Yeah. Anything he does, you know what I'm saying? Like he's always the same. Type and of he individual. says he does everything. Yeah, yeah. So that's like, like, like. There's nothing like he don't do the robot. Buttons. So like, that's not that's not hard to put into a robot if you want to be completely honest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. like you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you guys are robot design. Like, all like what are you good robot. at? Everything. Yeah, yeah. The robot buttons are just <laughs> like are you dead ass? And really, truly, you just have the robot not lie. You feel me? <laughs> exactly. Yo, he, go, he moved to South Jersey. Yeah, you don't even don't see him. go see him. Yeah, it's oh, up. Yeah, yeah. It you makes be sense. replace him with a robot quick, but I ain't gonna lie. Wow, I ain't ish, gonna lie. ish might be easy. Because if he's not laid back and he becomes energetic, is he ever not? Yeah, if he starts doing some outlandish, like uh, <clears throat> Fritz, I didn't know Ish fished. Oh, I no, thought no. Ish was a robot. <laughs> when when I saw him post like <laughs> fishing, <laughs> F- Fisher Ish, like, nah, he, he's OD. He's actually like, yo. I was dad. like, no, 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 yo, Ish. When you see, bro, fishing with a shiesty. <laughs> yo, bro, I had to slide a tub, so I'm like, yo, what are you fishing with a shiesty for? <laughs> what are you saying? What? Bro, nah, I slid, I was like, nah. fishing with a shiesty is wild, and then I said, fish, like, quotes ish. You can't spell fish without ish. Yeah. You feel me? And then he was like, he said, word up. <laughs> and he even talked about the shiesty. I'm like, when you're in a shiesty while fishing? That nigga shiesty, bro. You gotta hide from while the fish. While fishing? You gotta be, you gotta you're be hot. <laughs> you gotta be on <laughs> You gotta be he got to be on tack, I bro. swear he had a big hoodie under. <laughs> <laughs> bro, nah, Ish, like his dad, bro. His dad does everything. His dad works at Rutgers. You've probably seen him before. For real? you probably seen him taking your pictures at graduation. You're jealous, for He's, real? He is the, I didn't know that. He's the vice president of the video production thing. So why doesn't why didn't Jordan go? I thought he was supposed to come. Who, Ish? He's no. Come, yeah, wasn't he's he coming this semester, I think. Okay. I think, I think, okay. I think he just has to finish, like, um... Like uh, the paperwork for school and stuff, he'll be okay, ready. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. but like his dad, bro, his dad's a photographer. I remember when we used to sleep over. His dad used to cook us food. His oh, food used to be rocking. Damn. Like Ish only eats organic shit. He don't eat no pork. Like Ish, what a good man. Ish was the first nigga I ever met that never ate pork. I didn't know why. Ever? Yeah, he's the first I mean, nigga. He's not Muslim. No, Wallahi. He just yeah. never. He just never liked pork because it was it wasn't good for him. Pork is horrible for him. His, his his dad literally made wine. Made wine? Yeah, he made his own he wine. He stomped on that shit with his feet? Nah, nah. Like, he, <laughs> like he, he like put in a compressor. Yeah. So <laughs> like I, say, I thought that's what I thought he did, too. Yeah, yeah. If you told me as a little kid, this man making wine, I thought he's in the back. Dum, dum, yeah, dum, like dum, some shit. Yeah. Stomping on that hoe. <laughs> Yo, bro. I never would have thought that, bro. But yeah. And um, they have like a boat, like a little kayak, and they go on the boat. And shit. So he'd be boat. fishing with his boat. Damn. Mm-hmm. They go fishing a lot, actually. I thought it's just... With other extracurricular activities. Nah, right? it's just very one of them, like he's more outgoing and on the outdoors than like all of us. What the fuck? Like he he's he, he goes fishing at least every like two weeks, like a lot. I what? What yeah. the shiesty? I don't <laughs> no. know what the shiesty every time. No, he's definitely. I I'm not gonna lie. I may have seen Ish one time without a shiesty like post high school. <laughs> nah, like, you definitely now at your party, bro. Oh, okay, okay. I saw him at South Beach twice. Shiesty. Oh, he's at South Beach? Yeah. Oh, he, shit. One was for Francis's party and then Francis's birthday party and one oh, okay. was for some other event. Oh, okay, okay. Shiesty. He said, what's up, what, what's up to you? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I, I gave him a hug and shit. <laughs> I was surprised to see Ish there. I was like, what? Nah. Said, what are you doing But here? like, yo, <laughs> wait, what's it? Oh, fuck, what was I going to say? Nah, but he be, he be, he be chiefing with his, um, his grandfather and his dad. That's tough. Cause um they they be nah they had me dying like his story they be posting that's tough nah I knew Ish I'm like bro I'm thinking like nah Ish just smoke weed and vibe bro nah, I he, nah he literally is fish, vibing fish fish or Ish is od yeah bro yeah but, bro that's od all right I got a question for you so would you rather be the ultimate human being so I'm talking about every muscle in your body is enhanced so you you have super strength super speed you're super smart all that everything that a human being has is enhanced. So you are all that. Or 
Would you rather be able to control every single element known to man? Give me them elements, bro. So, like... The avatar, bro. You gonna take the elements? I'm gonna be the avatar, bro. Oh. I'm a superhero now. But you're a superhero either way. If you wanna be completely honest. But I'm cooler. It's the clout factor. I'm really going for clout here. Are you going for clout? I'm really going for clout. Because if I'm... Oh, yo, I'm super smart. I can make an Iron Man suit. Bruh. You're super smart and you're super strong and you're super fast. You jump high. Then you be in the NBA. But if I can control air and water. Yes. And earth and fire. Niggas talk to me crazy, bro. I'm crushing a crib. I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even killing. I'm crushing a crib. <laughs> I'm lifting the earth from a crib and crushing it. Oh, you talking shit. So Where they you have nowhere at? to live. <laughs> Where you living at? Where? Uh, you feel me? Yo. Done up. You feel me? Nigga. Niggas mess with me wrong. I'm turning a stove on. Lighting the house on fire. Wow. Like, I'm not even doing and conventional it, conventional like thievery on people, bro. You feel me? Like, oh, you in the shower? The water is not working today because I'm holding it up. Wow. My villains are and done the, up. There's other, there's other like, like you, you can bend metal too. Like all elements. Your car? You thought that engine was working. Wow. But nah, I think, <laughs> I, I, think I might be an ultimate human though. Nigga, I can go to the league. I'll be mo- the most athletic person in the world. Like in the world. Yeah, I can, I can blow you shit real quick. What? You could go to the league now, bro. I mean, I can't no more. <laughs> you just that, 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 that's, that's what I'm missing. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why I need this shit, <laughs> nigga. What? So you know. And then I'll be as smart as I'll be the smartest nigga in the world. I could Damn, outsmart. The IQ government. out of the world. You be diamond. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, smartest nigga in the world too. Smartest nigga in the world. Play for Harvard. D one. Ew. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Yuck. Nigga, what? I'll be the greatest. Like, I might even fuck around. I might just play football. Or I, nah, that, that's type ass. Um, nah, you won't get stopped though. What? You'd be Derrick Henry now. But like I'm like, but ultimate endurance too. Like I can't get hurt. I'm durable. Might as well run track, bro. Oh, I might do free. That. It's free. And I don't get tired. You literally won't. Oh get yeah, tired. I'm gonna be the ultimate human. I'm gonna be the ultimate human. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you you gonna? But don't talk to me crazy, bro. Yeah, I, you're I, ultimate I, human. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm, I got the strength of Hulk. And I got the speed of like Flash. See, feel me? All that speed and Flash shit, that shit sound good, right? But your house do not have... I think my my nigga will kill your nigga. No, he will not. Just think about it. All that speed and strength and smarts, that's you. Yeah. I won't kill you, but your life going to suck. <laughs> when you go home, you want to play the PlayStation? Why your PlayStation not working? But I'm smart Because I crushed all the metal in the hell. But I could... I could you going to make another one? No, I could figure it out. And I'm how smart. to fix it? Yeah. I'm crushing the metal in it. But you I'm might as well make it like, I, got, I could like outthink you. How you got, oh. I'm already I'm already thinking three steps ahead of you. Oh, okay, okay. So I crush your PlayStation. You already have two PlayStations? Yeah. It's done up. All of them <laughs> just your house smash. I think an ultimate human could be something I could bend on. I'm all going that. big, bro. There's nothing like feel me? Like I bought all the houses on the block. Now what? Like the only thing you could possibly do to me is like bend my blood. That's max. I really but that's real evil. Now I'm really trying to kill you. I'm just trying to torment you. So you, you just want me to have a terrible life? Yeah. Wow. Because now if I can bend your butt, you're going to think of something to stop that. You feel me? Yeah. I'm not doing nothing to, nothing to make you really want to do that. I'm really going to come out here and like, feel me? Podcast episodes? Done up. Crushing your cameras. <laughs> you feel me? So this thing is just got you rooting like, right. I'll Fine. I'll get some more tomorrow. You go to the shower? Shower don't This work. nigga can easily kill me, but he's like, nah, I just want you to live longer yeah, and be terrible. Let me, yeah, exactly. Like, right, let me make some food since the shower don't work. Why my stove not working? Or the stove work, the food is burnt. <laughs> because I made the fire really blasting that hole. Why? Okay. okay. Yeah, exactly. oh, Wow. You're okay. hot as hell because I can air bend. Yo. AC not working. Yo. Yeah, exactly, Yo, bro. bro. It's done up, bro. Yo, bro. All right. All right I got another question. <laughs> so, since we're talking about that, right? Mm-hmm. So, if there was a superhero in the world, what kind of superhero do you think would... What kind of superhero would it be? Like... The, f- the first one to be made... Like I think personally, it will be a nigga like Iron Man, like a, like niggas in suits, like Iron Man, Ant Man, Batman, like a nigga in a it's suit. Be too heavy. No, I mean like, but I think they like on some secret shit. Like a nigga got a super suit somewhere in this world. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to fly though. <laughs> Maybe there's a lot of unoccupied air spaces we can't go through. You know what I think? We probably can't see him. What if, what if that's like that little the shit that we see in the air? Somebody with like unlimited endurance. Oh, like you never get tired? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think real realistic here. Hawkeye, bro. 
I mean, I guess if I you tell want, niggas. that nigga's like he's not even a hero. Honestly. He's Man, not even he's super. A, he's better than you. <laughs> he's not even super. If you want to be honest, <laughs> he's just a hero. You ever seen him miss? Huh? You ever seen him miss? I ain't. He didn't so. catch Black Widow. He didn't want to. That bitch died. He, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, <laughs> he, he missed that bitch. <laughs> he, he missed yeah, that bitch. Never, he caught her, but she, you know what I mean? She countered that. Nah, he missed that. She bitch. parried that. That was the first thing he missed in his life. <laughs> Hawkeye or Green Arrow? Who's winning? Easily Hawkeye. Why? Bro, because, all right, check this. No, nah, I'm gelling to you. I ain't gonna lie. That's I'm what I'm like, saying. Dude. You want to be dead ass serious? No, nah, I'm not going to lie. Green Arrow is honestly cooler than Hawkeye, if you want to be serious. Green Arrow's not cooler, bro. Hawkeye's Green Arrow's cool. not cooler? Green Arrow used to be in a circus. How many niggas you know that used to be in a circus? Dick Grayson. Cool yeah, nigga. Cool he, nigga. But he died. By accident. How you die by accident? <laughs> that nigga you ass as hell. You died by... <laughs> but he died and became something cooler. He, he came became, back? What did he come back? He was like an angel. What a loser. That nigga that goes back and forth to like in the like the real world and... What a fucking loser. That ghost nigga. Nigga can do flips and... Sl- Yo, he's OD. Not only that, and Hawkeye is... I'd rather have Hawkeye because Green Arrow just like... He likes to cause pain and shit. Feel me? Hawkeye was a secret agent. But you was just talking about giving pain to niggas. Feel me? But... <laughs> you really you can't have everybody give pain. You feel me? Like you need so only you. only one person. Yeah, just yeah, just what that one. Thing, you know what I'm saying? Just that one. Thing, okay, you know okay, okay. Yeah, bro. All right, but I was telling you about that because, and then after this, you can talk about your shit because I got. Yeah. There was, I was watching an interview on um, TikTok and YouTube. There was a guy that was talking about um, how there's a secret government that's that our government don't even know about. Did you ever hear about that shit? Sounds familiar. So he was basically saying that this secret government has its own, has its own navy, has its own air force, has its own funding system, and it's like completely secret for? to the people. Who do they work for? They work. It's like a, it's like their own separate shit, and like they have, they have technology that's like more advanced than our most like advanced plane that we have. That's so who do plane. they fight? That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Superheroes type shit. And like they had, they figured like, so in the 1950s, there was a thing called, um, what the fuck was it called? Shit, do I have it on me? There was a type of, they learned to take energy out of a small area. It's like vacuum, vacuum, potential vacuum energy, some shit like that. Okay. They were made in the 50s, but nobody knew about it. It's like some advanced physics. And it's like something that they mastered and that only they use. And they that's what they use to power all the technology that they have. And it's something like if we give it to the people, they said they said that like like a like a mug of it could burn all the oceans of that energy. So they said if we can like if that shit was allowed to the people, there'll be free energy all around the world. Damn, we're definitely on Mars, bro. Oh, that's if we got something like that. You put that in an engine, bro. We're on Mars. That's bro. what I'm saying. But it's yeah, like, bro. But it's like, what what is the point of having something that low key? Do you, would you think for weapons? Like we know there's aliens, so aliens coming to fight us. We need something, some defense. So you think they are like defense and just in case? defense, and then also like control. So like say say niggas really start rioting, yeah. Russia act up or something. Anybody act up? Mm-hmm. Now we have something like a real deterrent. Like yo, calm down before like a nuke. Yeah. What's the point of having a nuke? To oh. let niggas know who. Do this low key. What if they created this shit as in like, cause like, as something secretive to like, like a sneak attack. Not not sneak attack, but like, you know how when we drop before we dropped the nuke, nobody knew what a nuke was yeah. until we dropped it. Yeah. So now everybody knows what nukes is, so they're expecting it. Yeah. So yeah. now we have this shit. It's like, oh, we didn't expect this shit. You drop you because now everybody got nukes. So yeah. are you gotta drop a nuke. Nah, we already we are ten steps ahead of you. We got now these. We don't, yeah, don't even don't even do that. In yeah, my, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. In my head, also. Like on the conspiracy, over uh, creative thinking side of me, mm-hmm. I think these niggas is like on some super like on. Some, that's why I was talking about niggas in suits fighting like monsters, not monsters or fire. I think it's aliens, bro. I think we're fighting aliens up in right space, now? bro. Oh, that'd be that. Honestly, have you ever watched that movie called um, Seven Underground with uh? It was on Netflix with that nigga uh, mm. Ryan Reynolds. No. So it's basically it's a task force of ghost operatives that they all killed themselves in action but they faked their deaths okay so it's like what if and it's like they go and like do the missions but like nobody knows about it like it's like it's like secretive right, right so like right. say 
the say um like say uh we're about to get nuked. Yeah. And before we get nuked, they send this team over to kill all the niggas off. Okay. Before we even know a nuke is coming. Oh. So like they stop the problem before it even happens. Oh. So like what if like this secret government secret group or whatever is like stopping a problem before we even know about it? Because if we like say there's a giant monster in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. If we know about it, we're never gonna go in the ocean again. But like say these niggas is just hold like containing it. Yeah, they know and just keeping there, it down there. Keep, yeah. Or whatever's in the sky, like aliens, they're keeping them up there and holding them off. I think we got a, a peace treaty with aliens, bro. I think so in general. I think so. I don't think we over here just got aliens like because if I'm aliens, yeah, bro, I want beef. Exactly. Like as a human, me no, but I'm saying I think we gonna want some beef. But I think aliens. I feel like aliens are way more advanced than us mentally. So I would think Where they don't even. I would the think they don't even. They would not even care about like us. fighting. Yeah. I like, feel like us as a human being, we're not up to. I feel like we just. We haven't matured there yet. Yeah, no we cap. haven't matured. Like that's just like a little brother, big brother. Like yeah, you try fighting. Like, like, I could really, really I could clearly fight, beat bro. your ass, but I'm like, I don't need to. We could go to extinction, and you want to fight? Exactly. That's why they probably leave us alone because we stupid as hell. Mm-hmm. Trying to fight all the damn time. And it's like there's so much shit that they keep secret. Like even like I always talk about Antarctica, bro. In Antarctica, glad you brought up Antarctica. Yo, there's yeah. a lot of secret shit that's going on at Antarctica that people really don't talk about. Like there was a guy in 1985. I don't know what his name is, but it's kept secret. Supposedly, this is a supposed story. I don't know if it's real or not. He was like a naval engineer and he was stationed in Antarctica. And so basically, there was his job was like, you know, to do research and shit, all that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And as like he's doing his research, like he's dropping off crew members and like yeah. equipment all around Antarctica, him and his crew members would see like flying like silver objects so above a certain glacier. And the glacier was called, um, what was the glacier called? I wrote it down here. Fuck. I hope I didn't lose it. It was called um oh oh I didn't write the I didn't write the glacier. Oh, it was called the Beardmore Glacier. Beardmore Glacier. Beardmore yeah. Glacier. And they were they, they would see shit hover above it. Mm-hmm. But when they like the government told them like nah, this is like classified airspace, like you can't fly over here. So one day, a crew member member went on an expedition and got injured out in the field. And, like, the person was like, all right, if we, if we go on, like, a normal route, like, yeah. around it, yeah. we will not be able to get them. So they was like, fuck it. Let's fly over fly real quick. It. Fuck it. We just fuck it. We're, just gonna go. We're not going to tell them. Fly through it. So as they fly over it, they see a giant hole the size of Antarctica. Not, oh. Not the size of the whole thing. But it's in Antarctica. Yeah. yeah, it's a giant hole the size of a football field. Damn. And they're like, what the fuck is that? But as they, they pick the guy up and they fly back over. And the next day, a guy in like all black told them, like, yo, whatever you seen over there, you did not see it. And if you speak of it, you're dead. Like, there's going to be real consequences. So we don't know. I don't know how the story got out. I don't know if it's a true story. But I just think there's a lot of shit going with Antarctica because we have a treaty yeah. that we, I told this before in another podcast. We don't agree on nothing in this world, but it's, we all agreed to not to colonize not, Antarctica. Yeah, for that's what weird as hell. Like, every country is like, yeah, no, we're good. We'll stay away from there. Like, why? Exactly. That's such an easy advantage. You're literally closest to everything. Exactly. So it's We like, don't fly down. We, nope. fly, we don't fly through there. Exactly. So it's like, what is over there that y'all not telling us? It's true. If you're flying from South, the bottom of South America, wouldn't it be faster to go around? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be faster to go like this, to go to the other country instead of going the other way? Wait, no, you're coming this. But then why is it faster? Okay. Whoa, is the earth flat? I was just thinking that my head. Nah. Wait, wait, wait. Is it... <laughs> nah. Damn, I would have cooked Jason if I said that shit. Because, like, why yeah, don't I we saw go? That shit. <laughs> I would have cooked, yeah, cooked Jason. I would have cooked Jason. But, Damn. like, why don't we go that way? Wouldn't it be faster? If you want to be completely honest. We always fly like this. Yeah. We never fly. So, like, say you're in South America and you want to get to Africa. Yeah. You just go like this instead of... You just go down. Exactly. Or, like, say say we got to get to... What's another place? Like, all right, if this is a ball... Nah, it's the longer way. Oh, wait, wait. So, like, say on the other side of where... This is America. On the other side of where there's China, right? And then South America is down here. 
Yeah. They go like this. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Why don't we just go under? Damn. We did we uncover it? Yeah. Did we just figure just it out? Good shit, bro. Oh shit. Yeah, you probably gonna die though. Shit. <laughs> but like, <laughs> you know I mean? damn. But I'm glad you talked about Antarctica. Because all right, so I just want to get the the person's name. I forgot to get the person's name. Hold up. Why? What happened? There's a story about Mount Everest. Where is Mount Everest? Oh, it's in Nepal. I don't even. It's know. in Nepal. It's in a in by Asia. It's a snowy Asia. mountain, so it reminds me of Antarctica. <laughs> Bro, they you know there's like a mount. They found a mountain range in Antarctica covered in ice. Like if you if the ice melts, there's a giant mountain range. What is a mountain range? <laughs> I don't know. Like a like a you know like a like a damn. That's a good question. Like the Rocky Mountains? <laughs> I have no clue what that is. You don't know what a mountain range is? Yeah, it's just a mountain, isn't it? No, like multiple mountains in a line. Like, you know when like an earthquake happens and like forms like like platonic, tectonic movements? It goes like Damn. this. Damn. Yeah, I can't find the name, but... So what happened? So, do you hear how dangerous Mount Everest is? Like, it's horrible. I think... Damn, I got to get this number, too. I want to get it right. Oh, wait. Is this the one with the guy with the green boots, bro? No, 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 no. I thought you was talking about when the niggas, like, there's like a... hundred people. There's like a dead body, and they use that as like a marker. Yeah, so like, all right. Like, 10 people die on Mount Everest every year. Every year? Every year. Like, it says between 10, 30 people die a year. Yeah. So, this is the thing. A group, and on a regular, so you go on Mount Everest... And it's so dangerous because when you get to the, it's you know they wear oxygen masks and stuff yeah. like that. If you climb Mount Everest, you will see dead bodies mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Yeah, I heard about that. So like they're walking past, you might see somebody's like winter coat and their legs sticking out. Yeah. And like they say, if you touch it, it's like frozen th solid, and like you can't do nothing about it because you can't. And even they just go past, and then it's so dangerous that nobody brings the bodies back because it's too hard to bring the bodies down. Oh yeah, and then it was there was this story that I had saw online, and it was this group of people, and they were talking about it. They were like, they went on Mount Everest, they were climbing up to a certain point, and they heard somebody screaming for help, a lady, like help me, help me, ah, I'm like I'm stuck, some right, like in the snow. Uh huh. And they're walking by, and they saw her like across. So like the way, I don't know how the mountain is, I never went hiking like that. Yeah. But they saw her, and they could have helped her, but they said it was too dangerous to walk instead of going parallel. Uh -huh. To pick to pick her up and help her, so they just kept going up the mountain to their checkpoint. Wow! And then they left her, and then she ended up dying. And then they could have went back and helped her, but instead they said it's too dangerous. And went and they just left her. But then they said um, when they got to the when they finished their whole climb at the bottom of the mountain, they went and asked who went on this trip and didn't make it back. And they named like their dog after her or something like that. They named something after her, or they yeah. started like a fund for her funeral expenses or something like that. Wow! But it's like you literally just left somebody to die. Exactly. And, like, and you've seen them because you could have went back. Mm -hmm. And then there was another thing. Somebody climbed Mount Everest, right? And then he went, and the guy saw somebody who was stuck, like. And they were like, I can't move. I'm about to die. And the person dropped all their stuff and just kept their food on them and wrapped them up and put them on their back. Oh, so you saved to them. Save, so you think it saved them, but they left all like their, you know, their expensive gear and shit up top. Yeah. But they had like their stuff to keep them warm and keep alive. Yeah. And walked them all the way down the mountain. Wow. And saved their life. Instead, it was like eight people. So one lady who needed help and they left her. Wow. That's crazy. But like, think about it. You're climbing. Say you're, you're climbing up a mountain. And you mm -hmm. just see that like literally it'd be like a skull, like a face frozen. Wow. And he, they... Every, like anybody who climbs key, it, like, it might not even be a skull because like it's so cold that body probably preserved right? I was just about to say it's probably their skin is probably frozen wow but think about it imagine like think about it people who climb on a regular they say they say, yeah that's the things you see you'll see like a backpack with stuff like their stuff everything do you think a lot of people know about that about my I, I just found out about it bro I'm not gonna lie I will never in my life climb that shit because imagine I climb and die exactly one you're not getting my body back and the moment you need help no one's saving you yeah, you you big as Think shit. Think about it, eight. Lie. You big as shit. Like nobody gonna pick this nigga up. Six eight. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Damn, bro, I thought you was a little shorter, twin. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. That's crazy. I'm about to slide. Like yo, like you say you gonna help. Like yo, we got you, bro. Don't even. Yo, when your legs stop move. Hey, bro, you a little. Damn, Six, I'm gonna eight? send somebody to. And, you and you how heavy? And then they. <laughs> two twenty. Two hundred fifty thousand. Two fifty. Oh, oh God. <laughs> So yeah, we go to, and it, they said the res to send somebody to rescue them would have took too long. So they didn't. So they told somebody when it got to the top, but it didn't matter. 
Wow. Because they're, they're it's like hours away, the rescue. What is the point of going to the top? Is it just seeing the top Clout. of the world? Because I honestly, I seen this all, I also seen this one post. I don't know if it's true, yeah. but there was a, there was a video of like people on a mountain and it was like a line and it was supposedly a line going to see the top of Mount Everest. And he died? No, no, no. It was like, oh. it was like, but it was saying like, you know how there's not a lot of people go up there, mm-hmm. but they're saying like now people are starting to go up there. Like it was like a hundred people. So there's like certain part, parts, but the top, the very top, yeah. I don't think many people go up there. You think so? Let me. I kind of want to look it up because yo, it was ma- it was at least a hundred people. It was like waiting in line, like for like a, a like a like a roller coaster. Oh, <laughs> and they was like they all they hoodie. They was just waiting to go up. They were like excited and shit. I'm like nigga, nah, I'm the not fu- they, I, but I think you know it's Twitter. Yeah. Twitter be gassing. That shit might be like Mount Holly or what, some whatever, some shit in New Jersey. Yeah, some <laughs> random shit like that shit probably that shit probably the Poconos. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, low key it might be the, the Rocky nigga, Mountains. Dan says in 2018 about 800 people summited, breaking the record for most in one year. 800? Yeah. And that was what, 2018? Yeah. Wow. Like a year. Climbed to the So how many people do you think died that are like the tour guides? Tour guides? Like in the past 10 years, I'm giving it like... i say seven. Seven. Oh, no. I'm going higher, bro. Oh, higher? 25. Oh, wow. 25. I said... T- I thought 10 a year. I'm thinking like one of them was like a hiker. Like he knew what the fuck he was doing. Yeah, they, they, I think some of them... Oh, wait. Like, what the fuck do you do though? Nah, they don't even have guides. You just gotta be a professional. Oh, like you, like you got. Actually, they probably have guides, but the guides don't work there every day. Like, oh. you're not getting paid hour, an hourly. Like, just imagine you had a guide, and that nigga fell and died. Like, like, like oh, sh- where the fuck do we go? Like, <laughs> like, what the fuck do we Yo, do? Just now? imagine you getting paid fifteen dollars an hour to climb every. <laughs> Yo, that shit not even a metaphor. You really slaving, bro. Nah, that's, that's really shit. crazy. You climbing Mount Everest every day. That's really hour, crazy. Bro. 15 hour to climb Mount Everest nah, every he's single dead. day. It's dead for that. It's dead wow. for that, bro. Yo, I was, was going to ask. I saw something about this. I don't know where I saw this. And it's been in my mind for the past two weeks. I don't know if it was an ad or what. What the fuck was it? What? Do Or do you agree that the chocolate chip is the worst part of the chocolate chip cookie? Ooh. I think, personally... In a chocolate chip cookie, the chocolate chip is the worst part of the entire cookie. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing. I think we should have more chocolate chipless <laughs> cookies. Because chocolate chip cookie, give me a cookie. It is, and it, it's not a sugar cookie because sugar cookies don't taste like a Ooh, chocolate chip cookie. I look you want to make that. And cookie dough don't taste like chocolate chip without the, the, cook, the chocolate chips in it. So... What are you telling me? So what would that cook? Would that be cookie dough cookie? No. Whoa. We they don't have, taste the same. We might. Have, so what does that cookie taste like without the chocolate chip? Because personally, <laughs> do you agree the chocolate chip is the worst part? I mean, it depends on. I don't think it's the worst. I part. think that's the worst part of the cookie. But bro. I would not like. I do like the part that's not chocolate. Like you know, I, I, that's my favorite part. That's the that best. That is the best. When you part. bite it, that's the best part. But like, so two. you find like a little chunk that's like, damn, there's no chip here. You bite it. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel yeah, me? Yeah. Even if the bottom's like a little golden brown. Wow. Wow. Yeah, bro. I'm trying to say. I, I don't. You right now. I ain't gonna lie. Tell Nobody me, has to try that. We can make, we can make money off that shit. Yeah, don't but, steal our shit, you weird ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> no regular <laughs> cookies, whole no, ass nigga. Because that, yo, no think about it. Because you, you just got to make the cookie dough and just don't put chips in it. No, but sometimes. No, but that's the thing. Now you find chocolate chip cookie dough that has chips in it. And it has the chips in it already. Oh, I know, but you can you can make cookie dough from scratch. Yeah, but that's cookie dough, not chocolate chip cookie dough. No, no, cho- I'm talking. They take you know the taste is different, bro. No, but I'm talking about like you making cookies from scratch. I'm talking about with the flour. Okay, okay, like, okay, like, okay, like, okay. Like, like, oh, you want some? But that's not a shit. chocolate chip cookie dough. What? Cookie <laughs> dough. That's not a co- chocolate chip cookie though. <laughs> that's not a chocolate chip cookie now. What is? That? Yeah, that's what because I'm saying. That's a, that's when a, you make it from that? home, what is that called? Damn. What is that? A cookie. Is that a, is just a, is that just a good no chocolate chip cookie? No, that's, cookie. Not, that's not a chocolate chip cookie. There's no chocolate chips in it. So what is that cookie not, called? And you take away the chocolate chip, it's just a cookie. cookie. Yeah, but what cook? What like a flour cookie? Like is that shit? But like is that but shit? That, was it? I gotta try that. A now. flour cookie isn't that a sugar cookie now? Nah, but sugar cookie is different. They don't taste because you don't put sugar. You don't put chocolate chips in a sugar cookie. And it tastes like a, <laughs> oh my fucking god! I'm saying, bro, they fucking with us, bro. I'm trying Wait, to tell you, bro. What chocolate the fuck? chip. I'm telling you, I need to try a chocolate chip cookie with no chocolate chips. Uh, th- yeah, I need, th- I need yo, to try a chocolate chip. Yo, cookie Jay, with we no gotta chips. try that shit. A chocolate chip cookie with Without no chocolate chips. chips. <laughs> See, look at us like we crazy. You know, I'm shit. telling you, bro. Right think I'm about it. Right now. Think, think about, about it. No chocolate chip in the chocolate chip cookie. 
Yo, that's a bar. That's you don't want to try that? I like too. Yeah. Oh, I do too. But like, you don't. Nah, I know what it tastes they're like. They're okay, but it's not the best part. Like, I'm what is that like, even called? A cookie. That is a little. A, the original cookie. Not a, cho- a chocolate chip cookie. Is not the original cookie. But you can't find original cookies. That's not a thing. Chips Ahoy, chocolate chip cookies. Yo, we just cracked. No, we we gotta. I gotta put this shit out because we. I can. We can get famous. All Yo, this yeah. shit. we can really run this shit up. I'm that's a great that's idea. Max. That's Max. Wow, chocolate chip list chocolate. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. If Chips Ahoy came, mm. <laughs> he said, "Let me chill out." What's the next age? Yeah, that's wow. That's actually heat. Yeah. I'm about to make that to a clip because I'm really confused. What does that even taste like? I'm telling you, bro. Like, I don't know. If y'all know, don't act like we stupid. Because yeah. like, I know y'all don't. Yo, like I know they, none of y'all niggas out nah, here they're eating they're they're chocolate say, oh, chipless sugar. cookies. Oh, what cookie? That is they're not gonna, a sugar cookie. They're about to gel off of us, bro. Because sugar cookies are white. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. A and, chocolate chip cookie is brown. And, and they taste different. They taste exactly. They got sugar have, in it. And oh, cookie dough. Cookie dough has does chocolate not chips. taste the same as, as we have chocolate chip cookie dough. Exactly. And they are two two different. The dough tastes different. Yeah. So take that chocolate out. I don't know. I gotta try that. I'm gonna make that one day. Am I'm I gonna have to this. stomp all the like cut out the cookie? Nah, but then there'd be like little chocolate like melted inside. No, I'm talking about I'm just gonna make it without I'm just gonna make cookie dough without putting the chocolate chips in it. You know no. what I'm saying? Or you think that would be ass? I don't think that's. I don't think. See, making it from scratch. Yeah. They don't taste the same. So you talking about? I want, like, <laughs> what? What's the name? The Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah. His chocolate chip cookie dough, but With they the, take them cookies out. The oh, chocolate but, chips out. You know that's impossible. That's, you're gonna try that? That's what I'm saying. Or we could. Nah, nah, that's not. My, that's, that's not impossible. We could do that. I it's gonna take to, a lot. It's gonna take a while. I need to do it. I need that. We'll try. I need that. We'll try. I need that. We'll try. All right. I got a, I got a question for you. Yeah. The world has come to an end. Choose your apocalypse. You're the last person on earth. The, a robot apocalypse. Skinwalkers take over the earth. Basically, they're shapeshifters in the earth. Or the underworld is crossing over into our world. Which apocalypse would you rather be in? Oh, the underworld's crossing into our world? Yeah. That's Gears. Gears Warrior played Gears War? Yeah. That's Gears. I'm mm-hmm. so dead. There's no shot. <laughs> Plus, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, so I'm committing. But um, <laughs> robots? Yeah. No ro- shot. We can't survive. Exactly. There's no shot. Skinwalkers? As in, like, they're shapeshifters. So niggas could, yeah, all over the place. So you don't even know who's who. Nah, but they don't, like, speak, right? They don't. They act funny. But like over time, they might evolve to some shit. They might know like cur- like cadences. You're a fiend. Um, Wait, what? You talking the about the pretzels? You're a fiend. That's Jay's pretzels. Ah, uh, you're a fiend. <laughs> <laughs> those are just buzzing. No, I ain't gonna buzz. That's your buzz. But um, those are the three options. Or um, you'll be the last person on earth. Oh man, I am legend. I That's worse I can have a dog that. I can have a dog No you look, I mean you, there's animals So you can tame a dog <laughs> You can tame a wild animal <laughs> But like That's worse than I Am Legend That nigga was the last person In the city I'm talking about the world You know how, You know how quiet It gotta be That might be too quiet <laughs> Like you might go insane I think Me personally I'm either going with The Give me do robots. I just ro- I was gonna say robots or the underworld, but we're gonna be slaves. I mean, like they're just are they killing us? Yeah, like they're just taking over Terminator on some shit. Yeah, but like honestly, if the underworld, do I just have to have holy water on me? I'm cool. Nah, underworld, bro. It's like, like you demons? gotta until you die. That's oh my god, you, there's like demons in the world now. Demons like little like serpents that fly. Oh shit, locusts and shit. Isn't that big ass three headed dog down there? Yeah, they coming up. Oh, snakes! You ever saw This Is the End? It was like a comedy, but like oh, I, I think I is that like, the one with the comet? With no, it was with James Franco, um, Seth Leonardo Romeo. DiCaprio. In there? No, oh, all the funny. Oh, names. oh, I did. I, 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 yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I didn't finish it. The underworld is like, O.D. 
Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not taking on the world. There's so no shot. That one's OD. So you gonna take robots? I think I go robots. If I'm a if I'm a slave, I'll... either or, or shapeshifters though. I mean, they really they you could tell a difference, but like that's type scary. I could oot them. Yeah, that's type scary though. Like it's I mean, scary, but like I won't I won't go to the city. Oh, too many. Yeah, there's too many niggas walking around and they don't even have and to speak. They might. Niggas might stare you down. And you're yeah. like, what are you staring at? Then two, then three, then four. Yeah. yeah no, nah, nah, I'm not doing that. Look at the president. Oh, wait, what if the president is a shapeshifter? Now he sends the nukes. Off him. Oh, just off him, off her? Oh, he sends the nukes. That's max. It's over. We're off, actually. Yeah. There's nothing we can do. Nigga made two apocalypses <laughs> in one scene. In one scenario, one, two yeah, of two just... one is max. Damn. Yeah. I think I'm going to go robots, bro. Take okay. Hand yeah. me my L. I'll take that. I'll try that. I'll yeah. try that. I, I got I got another would you rather question. So, would you rather get ten million dollars right now, like off the rip, but you will now, but you will no longer be able to use your legs, or would you rather get a thousand dollars a day until the day you die, but now you die at the age of forty? I got you with some hard ass questions today. I ain't gonna lie, I was cooking up, I was chefing it up in the fucking Damn. in the shower today. Give me. I thought a rack a day, that's over 300K a year. And then what? You're 20, 22, 20? I need to, I always need an occasional dance session, bro. I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck? So an like occasional not, dance session? Yeah, you like, <laughs> like, you know when you like. You could dance, just go like this. Nah, like you had a really good day and you you walk into the crib and you're like. Let's go just get sturdy. Like 2.5. Like this 2.5. Like you feel me? Like like not even for long. Like you feel me? Or like you feel me? You wa- so you, you tell me you walk into the dome and just get sturdy randomly. Nah, not the dome. Dome. Oh, walk, you walk into your dorm. Walk into my room. Yeah. Walk and into just my, start going stupid. Like a great dad walking. I'm like, just got an A on that paper. Hey. You feel Wait, me? Like how or, long? How long? Or I start this? doing uh, that, uh, the glide dance. How long does this last? It depends how good the day do you, was. Do you put music on? Music on? If I always got my AirPods in, so I walk in with them and I turn the AirPods off. If I'm still happy when my AirPods are in my box, then I'm gonna turn the speaker on. And now the rest of the, now I'm really like, you feel me? Like I'm just hyping my room. Like I just got an M one. Like I'm lit. So I need those because like I can't get lit in a wheelchair for real. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Like well, I'm, I'm a, like, you feel me? But see, I'm moving my legs. You see me just start doing this? Nah. Like I'm feel me now. I'm like nah. I need a kid like you I can't can, move can side to you side. Can millie rock. I'm gonna have to. I'm Millie Rock. You can Millie Rock. Nah, I think you cool. I think forty, bro. So you go. So that's like you might. Damn, my that's sixteen son, though. My daughter, that's what I'm saying. You're not gonna son, be able to live though. to see your, your son for real. Like you might be able. You die when your son like ten, if anything. Fucking no legs. No, that's what I'm saying. No legs. I, I'll take no, no legs. legs. I'm Fucking dying no legs. at forty is crazy. But a thousand a day. So wait. 365, that's over, that's, I'll say right now, 400K a year times, how old are you, 22? Yeah, 23, 23. 23, so 17 years. What's, what, check out what's 400K times 17. Let's see if that gets to 10 million at least. 400K. Times 17. Why 400K? Because it's 365 days a year. So, I, I just rounded it up, so. Times how much? 400K times what? Uh, 17. How much is that? Six thousand eight hundred to add two zeros. Six thousand eight hundred. So six million. So six point no, eight mil. Add two zeros. Sixty-seven million. Sixty-eight. Six hundred eighty thousand. That's not correct math. Four hundred k, not four hundred. Just add the extra zeros, buddy. <laughs> what the fuck? Six million. <laughs> six point eight million. Six About million. okay. Okay. Damn, so you're not even going to... It's not even really worth it. Yeah, you're not even going to make the 10 million, but you just got no legs. I'll take the 10 million, though. I'll take the 10 million. You got something you want to talk about? You get to live longer. You get to live longer. You get to enjoy yourself. Wait, but time out. Let me go back on the dance thing. Okay. If you had a camera in your room that you didn't know about, but then somebody shows you, what do you think you would see? A lot of me playing that video game. Um... Think about it, bro. You playing 2K, you and the homies just got a clean dub. I, like, feel me? You stand up and get hype after that, or is it just me? Oh, yeah, no, I do. I like, do. You feel me? I'd be too... You can't... You'd be like, let's go. 
You just say, you feel me? You can't get up. You feel me? Like, you're watching a basketball game. And one, nigga, come here, because I can't. You know what I'm saying? But, like, in my room, I'm thinking the worst thing. So, you talking about, do you still sleep with a, with a, with shades on? No, not no more, because niggas can't really touch me no more. Okay. Because I'm, I'm too nice do for Do you that. still have your bandana collection? Of course. Okay. But my girl took, like, half of them. Okay. Okay. Damn. I'm trying to think. The weirdest shit the most of what niggas would see. I I say I say this a lot in my room. <laughs> like I just be thinking shit, I'd be like, damn, I'm him. Like it just happens like, like you just at least it? at least ten times a day. For me when I, I'm dolo. For me, I think I would probably see me either talking to myself or doing something very odd. Nah, a lot of a lot of talking to myself, a lot of Damn, I'm really him. I ain't gonna lie. Jay caught me in some shit one time. When we was first talking, you remember that? <laughs> we was on, me and Jay was on FaceTime. And I'm hella comfy. Uh, yeah. I'm hella comfy. That's why I have my bunk bed. <laughs> I, have a, I have a bunk bed. Yo, I had, I had one leg up. Yeah. Like on the top, like like and leaning on the bunk bed, and I had like my hand like in my drawers. Yeah, and you just and I'm just vibing. And Jay screenshotted me, yeah. and she's crazy because she said that shit. She was not about to send it to me. Oh, she was sending it to her, the group chat. Oh, so she was about to. Fr- and she's you send it. Oh, you the group chat. She's gonna send it to one person. She's gonna send it to one person. But I'm like, damn, I'm vibing out here. Like, they, like they about just, to, now they about to they about to roast me. Now, but, they about, why this nigga sitting like that? You might look goofy as hell. Was I was I in my underwear? I thought it was about like, I, yo, but I'm talking out. about like, I mean, leg out, like, like extended, yo, <laughs> extended, like I'm like chilling, <laughs> bro, just living life, and then yeah. and then she just she said to me, I'm like, why'd you send this to me? Like, yeah, look at <laughs> Thank ass. God, the God God knew, nah, bro. I was like get that, cooked. Yeah. I would have got cooked that day. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah. What what else do I do? That's weird. Um, you fucking. Get excited over potato bread and fucking cookies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like no, regular ass hold cookies, on, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got lame. excited because I forgot I had a, a, a white chocolate chip macadamia nut cookie. Them shit's bust. Bro, y'all in the pod don't know. This nigga's a fucking loser. Bro. This nigga's fucking <laughs> Did you hear? Yeah, bro. oh my God, bro. This, this, this nigga just said he walks in his room and busts out dancing. Yeah, Who the fuck does that shit? Because I'm, I'm, cause I'm late. I did something good. You feel me? Now I walked in and I'm like, like for example, what? I'll walk in and be like, I got no homework to do. I'm really him. Feel me? And feel me? Get a little groovy. Two point five. Two point five. Get a little groovy and then keep it pushing. But like, nigga, we walk like, hey yo, bro. Like, yo, you trying to go get a smoothie for for lunch? I right, where? He's like, oh shoot, a cookie. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> what? One cookie. It's not like he got a pack of cookies. It's one singular cookie. He put one cookie in a Ziploc bag and decided I'm gonna take this to work. Yo. This nigga said, I'm bringing one cookie to work, yeah. and this is going to be the best thing yeah. of my day. Yeah. Bro, People, that shit was the if y'all don't know, I'm, do, I'm fasted, so I be fasting and shit. So sometimes, I don't really be eating too crazy like that. So like, when I have time, when I decide, like, okay, I'm going to have something like a, like a sweet tooth, I get excited for this shit. One, yo, bro, we in class, bro. bro my mom bought it. Oh, nah. wait, wait, what are you about to say right bro, now? Bro, we in class, What are you about bro. to say right now? And he's like, damn, I'm hungry, bro. Before the professor get there, we get there a little early. He's like, let me just see what I got for lunch today. <laughs> Feel me? Opens up his little lunch, ba- lunch box like a fucking loser. Niggas in college with a lunch box. Opens his shit up, looks, opens up the fucking foil. He's like, potato bread. Ooh. It takes a fucking bite, yo. You fucking square. Nigga was so happy over potato. He said, potato bread. And he immediately said, hum. He said, potato bread. Hum. I was like, you good? He said, he said, my fault, bro. I just really like potato bread. Like, I just love potato bread. I'm like, yo. Yo, ever since that day, this yo. nigga town been clocking everything, yo, everything I ate. I ain't gonna lie. Everything. Because I eat healthy food. Dude, the lamest shit ever. <laughs> yo, like, you don't live at the crib and know you got potato bread in your show. <laughs> yo. Potato- Yo, bro. I, yo, I was excited. That shit was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No, it was a bacon, egg, and cheese with, with potato, potato bread. bread. Jay, you know potato bread be busted. I was excited. <laughs> bro, what? I was thought You know when you be hungry. You bro. probably have potato bread like every day. Yo, nah, that I shit in your, in your cabinet, yo, bro. I, ain't gonna lie. I think the one of the most embarrassing moments I ever had in my life yo, that dude. I think I remember. I thank God I never... like. No, I have a lot of... No, actually, I have, I have two. <laughs> one of them was... You ever watch My Gym Partners a Monkey? Yeah, Cartoon yeah, Network? Yeah, I was like, 
I was like seven years old or eight years old at the time. And we, no, no, I was maybe 10. And we, we just moved here. And everybody was asleep. And no, out of nowhere, I just watched the episode and I got so excited. And I literally went to my dining room and started dancing like them niggas Dolo. and singing, yeah, Dolo and singing the song. Watching partners, I'm yeah, like, yes, and I was watching partners. <laughs> yo, my Dolo, gym. Dolo, <laughs> and then yo, yo, and this is this is another embarrassing moment. But I did think, anybody see you? No, 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 no. I thought somebody did, but like I was, like, I was really, I didn't give a fuck. Like I was, like I was enjoying my time. So I, so I kind of understand what you mean. But you're a grown ass man. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this shit, that shit shouldn't slide. But another time was in fifth grade. Uh, at the Boys and Girls Club, what? What is? I got bread. Yeah. Bro, how much? Wait. How much is that? Count up. Count up on camera. Count it up. I don't count know. Let them know. Breach me up. I got five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, ten, ten eleven, ten, twelve. Oh, that's a twenty. <laughs> oh, shit, twenty-two, forty-two. Oh. Yeah, we up, bro. Yeah, we up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but all heck? right. So you know, in the Boys and Girls Club, they used to have like the aftercare program. Yeah. So. You know C five, they all like C five was mad far from us, so we used to have to take the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was in fifth grade, my mom told the bus people, like, oh, can you drop them off at the boys and girls club? Like okay. after you drop off all the kids, just drop them off last when you go back to the school. Your mom got like clout like that? I don't know what the fuck she did. They she dropped you know. off? Yeah, they chose it. So at the end or before they would drop the kids off, they'll drop me off at the boys and girls club. So but I so now I'm the first one there. Type of special privilege. Go ahead. So now I'm the first one there. And this day I what did I do? So I went I was hungry right. and I went to the pizzeria, La Gondola. Remember that pizzeria that was up there? Yes. The dollar slices. Yes. So I used slices. to so I got a dollar slice and was bad about up there, they didn't have a bathroom. So I had to pee. So I'm like, damn, I'm sitting here eating my pizza. I gotta use the bathroom. They don't have a bathroom. So I'm go I walk I run back down to the boys and girls club and I'm like shit, the doors is locked. And I don't know where the bathroom is down there. And I panic. I'm like I'm like, fuck. I'm like looking around I'm like, and I just go like this. You pee your... <laughs> Yo, so I go like this. I go like this. I just go like this. I go to the wall and I just said, close my eyes. I just went... <laughs> I wait, 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 wait. I let you, that motherfucker rip, bro. You didn't even think, let me go pee in the bush. <laughs> no. You said, bro, it was like... Damn, it, I really gotta pee. Yo, Ty. I, Ty Rowe. I can't. I gotta... <laughs> Yo, Tyra, I swear to you, like it was like it was right there. If I would have took another step, it was going. And like it was like <laughs> you were old enough. I was. In the you were old enough. <laughs> you peed your pants. Yeah. You were old enough to at least pee out of your pants. At least fuck it, and just pee. I was. Afraid so what did you do for the rest of the day? I called my mom. I said I pissed myself. <laughs> I called my mom. Yo, that shit. No, what, what saved me though? I had. I remember. I had black. I had black sweatpants on, so you couldn't even tell my you shit. You had the pizza at the place, huh? Oh no, I ate my pizza. I made sure I ate the pizza, but there was a like, like my leg was wet and burning. Like my shit was burning. I ain't gonna lie. And I, I'm not gonna lie. I left. So I left. I took a. <laughs> I literally took a piss on the floor and and walked out. So I wonder, like the council, like what the fuck is this? <laughs> well, you were inside. Yeah. Inside the boys and girls club, like you know, upstairs. Yeah, yeah, I was upstairs. Like you know, before you go in the rooms, in the boys and girls club, I was upstairs. So wait, why did you go downstairs and just pee in the bathroom? The, they were all locked. Oh, the bathroom. I thought the facility or, or, was locked. I think I didn't like. I think that was like one of my first. No, wait. I think no, no, because usually you know all the little kids is upstairs. You're using a fifth grade, right? Yeah, that, that, that's what we were still upstairs though. Only that only the middle schoolers are downstairs. So like I only knew upstairs. I didn't know where the bathroom was down there. And I think I tried it and it was still locked. But like everything, like the doors upstairs was locked, because I was the first one there. Like nobody I picture this nigga just like I, and I that nigga did that? Is it that nigga? Nah. What year? <laughs> yeah, it's that nigga. Nah, nah. It might have been that nigga up there. Two twenty eleven. Oh, it might have been that nigga right there. Tw no, wait, tw was that was that twenty eleven? Wait, what the fuck? How old were we? How old were we in, in um, uh, fuck, like eight, nine? No, I was because I graduated. I was not okay. I graduated middle school in 2013, 2013, 2012, 2011. No, that was sixth grade. That was that was the year after. So I learned my lesson. 
Yeah. It was I, I pissed myself. My leg my left leg was on fire. I felt I had a rash. I was so ashamed of myself. There was a piss there was a puddle of piss on, on the on the floor. On the floor? Yeah, it was so bad. You got in your shoe? <laughs> Got in your socks. I don't know. Am I just? I what did your just, mom say to you, bro? My mom was just like, "It's okay." She's a mom. Your dad would have slept the shit out of you. Bro. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. What, what do you think your dad would have? He well, he probably knew because your mom probably. Told he probably would have been like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Why did you?" Uh, bro. That was just uh, that was just last last resort. You had to sit. But like, yo, I used to do. I used to be do some sneaky shit. Like I remember. There's no excuse for this, bro. I'm not like yo, like like yo it. like I got a question. Like, did you ever shit in high school? Like, take a shit in the high school? Yeah, plenty of times. Oh, you ew. never shit in high school? No, I I, I was afraid. I was so scared. You told me as a you told me senior year, bro. You was afraid to shit in high school. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, my first couple times shitting, I got bullied. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like you, like but you, like you feel me? You adapt. Now you're a regular. You walk. You walk in like, damn, that shit stink. <laughs> like who is it? Feel me? But yeah, but you become a regular to the shitter. Nah, you feel me? So the first couple times, who's in here? You're like, oh, I hope they don't know it's me. Tyrone, is that your shoes? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then after a while, I was like, tie you here where. Feel me? Mm. You just, you just shitty butt. Nah, you just. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, yeah. Niggas really yeah, yeah, yeah. niggas shitty butt. Yeah. Nah, but like nah, before every game, me and Jimmy pause. Me and Jimmy together, we used to take shits together before every game. Really? Before no, every. I couldn't take We either went to small gym, where we like, yo, I gotta take shit. This shit locked. Oh yeah, he did but, do that. He did. Feel do me? That. And we go that. shit together. Yeah. Pause. Wait, no, it's a small gym. There was no stalls in there. No, nah, it just wasn't high enough. But we wouldn't see each other. Feel me? Feel me? We could adapt up. Like you finish work. That team, but like you feel me, but like, but like, there's no doors in those bathrooms, yeah. Cool, we can't see each other, though. You know, uh, I mean, Type I, shit, I mean, but, I guess, but then but like, we go D wing upstairs and oh. or in um B wing, remember the main one down the middle, yeah. Oh, like three classrooms in that one. That door, you could lock it. Which door? There's a bathroom in there by Mr. O's room, Mr. Oh, o. say two, wait, yeah, Mr. O, oh, yeah, oh, two, oh, yeah, his, his, shit. Oyola. No, in, in B wing. So you know where B I, I, I forgot I forgot what the B wing is. is B the, is where G. Remember G Wing? Comes yeah. across. B wing goes straight. Is that hallway that intersects with it. Oh, okay. And it is goes it? into A Wing. Uh-huh. 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 That one on the other side of the intersection, oh, there's a oh. bathroom right there. Yeah. You go to that bathroom, the door locks. Oh, it's a one person bathroom? Nah, it's a full bathroom. Oh, you just lock I ain't gonna lie, there's like three rooms. I bro, they used to say don't lock it, I lock it. The door open, I lock it. Was there was there a bathroom by Mr. March room? Like in A Wing, do you remember? Where the ROTC All the way down? No. There wasn't? That would have been a good place to use take a shit. Closer to the offices, there was. Okay. I, bro, if I had to take a shit, I would go all around the building. I, 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 Never, ever, ever the one in B-Wing by the, by the cafeteria. Yeah, yeah, nah. That, I think that's where they used to... The, the slap boxing championship. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Roll dice. That's where they used to throw shit at the wall. Yeah. You never take Nigga, shit. Zaki had so many skits in there. Yeah. yeah. Do you bro, remember that? Bro, it's some weird shit. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> that thing used to be in there every day at lunch. Those used to be OD. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Yeah. Those used to be OD, bro. Tay was in one of them. Yeah, bro. What the fuck? Yeah. When nigga used to walk around with his pants on. Yeah, nah. It used to be Max. Nah, the, the most Max one was when the nigga walked out the stall and that nigga Evan was, Evans was on his knees and they put soap on his face. Yes, that one was OD. That was, was very bad. <laughs> yeah. TikTok. Was Zaki was creating TikTok before TikTok. Yeah, that would've been Max. But, oh... What was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna tell you how I got around the shitting, because so yeah, say, what did you say if I had to take a shit, I would go to the nurse and use their bathroom. I would say my my stomach hurt. Yeah, I say my stomach hurt. And she would like, go to the bathroom. Yeah, she like oh, but like and it only worked in middle school. In high school, it didn't really work that well. What would well. you say my stomach hurt? I don't go like I don't think I ever went to the nurse in high school. Really? Like for actual injury? Really? I went to Meg. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, like I'd be in the middle school day. Once Meg was downstairs, yeah, like not by the field house, where Meg at, bro? Uh, Senior year, I was walking to the field house, middle of the middle of the shit. Really? Yeah, I ain't fuck. I was wow. like, off football sanction, but like, oh, okay. I ain't gonna lie. But then, besides that, the nurse, I walked into the nurse once, like, I think I had an allergic reaction to peanut butter or something. Oh, okay. And like, you have epi? I'm like, nah, I don't know what it is. My throat. And like, lay down. We'll call your parents. And I took the craziest nap. <laughs> and then like had like COVID or something. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but like, it's it's but like. I mean, I went. That's the only time I went. But they didn't let you shit in there. Nah, they would jail me. They said that shit broke. Oh, uh, and shit, yeah, the doors wide open. Like, yeah, there's there's no sign. But like, what I did was, I was I keep coming back. Like, yo, my stomach really hurt. And they be like, I called my mom, and I went home. I took a shit. All I had to do was take a so shit. So what? Do you, so you telling me all four years of high school, you never shat in that bathroom? 
Not that I I have, but not during school so like, hours. So what would you do after you eat lunch? Like you had practice. I mean, I didn't really had the shit for real. Like my body wasn't used to like I shit when I got home. <clears throat> so you talking about you eat breakfast? Uh, I didn't eat really, lunch. I wasn't those niggas that would go in the morning eat breakfast. I didn't have breakfast. You never had breakfast in the morning. I did. Like I would be in, like you like, tell me you woke up in the morning. Your mom would make you no breakfast, bro. No. <laughs> I mean, if I if I ask for it, like she'll make me breakfast. She was like, uh, your life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> now I see why you was happy as hell for potato bread. <laughs> like if like if my mom would, if I asked my mom like he make me breakfast. I know she made Libby. <laughs> yeah. Breakfast. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm saying. Like, so, but like, so you wake up. Ooh, there's bacon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, there's nothing for you. <laughs> like, cause I, I didn't want, bro. I, I was grinding, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Johnny used to open the gym for me in the morning. I was fucking grinding. Nigga, I was up before the sun, nigga. I used to have them wake. I had to wake up and drive me to the gym to go work out. I wasn't eating no goddamn breakfast. The hoop was my breakfast. But then Johnny used to buy us them bagels. Them them little. Yeah, you bought y'all bagels. He used to buy us egg and cheese sandwiches. From where? Uh, I'm, I have no idea. Maybe bagel spot. You go fuck Johnny. He never got me one. Johnny a real one. He's a bitch. Wait, you never you wasn't you wasn't in the in the gym in the morning? I used to go to the gym in the morning. He didn't get y'all a dozen donuts. Never got dozen donuts. He got like a couple. Like six. <laughs> he never got me no Who, sandwich. Yeah, he's it, it wasn't every time. It'll be like once in a while. I used to get my breakfast yeah. from Brandon Bedlevy. Shout out to my guy. Feel me? I used to sell bris in high school. He used to sell potato egg and cheese. We used wow. to run a little scheme together. Really? Feel me? Are you thirsty? I right, bet you say you're not thirsty, work. But Brandon, go get him. I ain't gonna lie. What a potato egg and cheese? Three dollars and fifty cents. I'll throw in a brisk in it for another dollar. Feel mm. me? We work it out. You know what I'm saying? Potato egg and cheese is tough. Because you're not going to eat a Then this way, niggas get a potato egg and cheese. I don't want no Bev. I'm like, hey, yo, roast him. He'd be like, you got no Bev? And I'm I like, got- nah, he's good. He got a Bev. You got a dollar? You know what I'm wow, saying? Wow. Yeah, got him. You got him. I ain't going to lie. Niggas, niggas that niggas. sold shit in high school were pretty much like, they might be successful now. Like, what is he doing? What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing, but I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm right here. <laughs> oh look In the flesh <laughs> No but he Damn what is Brandon Bell Have you doing That was Some the nigga cool that, used to, that used to play In Saturday League right Yeah Tough nigga Shooter That's tough <laughs> Shooter But damn So you never So you told me you woke up Went to practice So you ate Snacks and lunch No shit No shit You never had like a bad B and chi From <laughs> from, from lunch I don't eat that shit. So what did you eat for lunch? I would usually get either the pizza or the sandwich, the sandwich line, and then sandwich line used to be. And ass. then you like ass? Yeah, you yeah. like the sandwich line? Yeah, with the chicken tenders, the honey yeah, mustard. Should, yeah, I should got. Yeah, I would like Stones be bro. The pizza sticks. Oh my god, you like the pizza sticks? You didn't like the what? Did, what did, you didn't like the pizza sticks? I used, you know what I used to get? What cheese on bread? I used to get you. Oh, oh, Steve's calling. Let's tap him in. Wait, you got? I'm right down the street, bro. Yeah, tell me right down the street. Yo, I'm bro. right down the street. Yeah, what's good, Steve? Yeah, <laughs> I'm literally right down the street. I'm I'm literally gonna be there in like 30 minutes. Yeah, we are gonna be done soon, bro. Yeah, we've been there earlier, but yeah, shit, shit went left. Yeah, we lost some mad footage. <laughs> Wait, the nigga. What? <laughs> niggas pressing you. <laughs> niggas jumping Yo, you down. No, it's the thing right behind you. Ask Kenny. Kenny knows. Kenny knows. Kenny knows. <laughs> fucking gelled off these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny knows the fuck out of here. Yeah. But you, what, is, what was your favorite? My favorite? What was your favorite thing from lunch? You tell me the cheese bread. So I used to, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't able to get like reduced lunch or free lunch. Me, but me I, ain't I. Have, I ain't had a bread for a regular <laughs> lunch either now. Like, my parents would give me, like, five beans for a week and be like, make it work. <laughs> like, like, I go out to, like, my dad, like, he'd be like, you need more money for lunch? For what? What do you need more? It was only two fifty two. now that I think about it. Yeah. Who's going to get a full lunch for $2.50? I know. That's what I'm thinking. How much is it now? I got to ask Libby, how much is lunch? Damn. But two fifty. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. So then two fifty. dollars don't want that shit cheap. But I would pocket it or spend it on, like, a snack. Like, film me get, like, Cheez-Its from Vega. Or I'd be like, okay. Let me see what I'm going to get. Like, you feel me? And then I usually wouldn't use it. And if I didn't use it, I'm like, okay, I'll get, I don't got no lunch. And every time you don't got no lunch, they give you that cheese sandwich. Or is it cheese and bread? Yeah. Free lunch. Or not free lunch. It's the, 
Yo, you ain't got no lunch. I right, the, the broke nigga special. Yeah, yeah, the broke nigga special. <laughs> cheese on bread. But here's the see, niggas asleep. The cheese sandwich. This is where you, you lock it in. You feel me? You go. You can sneak to the teacher's lounge. Uh huh. You could go into the microwave, throw it in the microwave, two point five, so, or ask one of the ladies in the back. <laughs> Yo, you could throw my lunch in the microwave. Feel me? You throw mayo on that hoe, throw it in the microwave, have it come out. Now you eat that, bussin'. And if you're really feeling zesty, pause. You throw a little bit of barbecue sauce or some ketchup on it with the mayo in the sandwich. Let it melt. There's no need to be living like this. Bro. Nigga, Johnny literally, when the lunch was over, niggas be like, yo, I get a slice of pizza. He's like, yeah, go ahead. He never, what, for free? Yes. How? Nigga, nigga yo, this nigga Marlon, I don't know, you remember Marlon? Yeah. He, was, he used to be like, yo, Johnny, you got me, bro? I'm like, all right, bro, go get Johnny it. never did that. Johnny you know was crazy. y'all? He didn't fuck with me. Why? Remember, I didn't he, tell you how much of an asshole this nigga was? Why? Because he was taller? Because y'all was the same I, height? Wait, I never explained this to you? No, why? Johnny was the biggest... Johnny did not respect me as a human being. Why? So, to Johnny, uh, right? I No, he respected... No. All right. Now I'm about to explain. I'm about to dive in. Oh, wow. Tap in. Johnny was a security guard for us, right? He's like... Dan, I... I no, you cool, you cool, you cool. He was a security guard for us. He's like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Tall, dark-skinned dude, right? Haitian. Haitian. He's Haitian. I didn't know that. He was Haitian. He used to look out for the basketball players and people, right? Yeah. For me, yeah, I'm a, I was a basketball player, but most of like the athletes were like bad kids, like delinquents. <laughs> I was not one of them. I'm federal, all right? Like, yeah. <laughs> feel me? I've he been federal. Them, he is them guys. So I literally used to come in and do everything right. My disciplinary record in high school, not a single thing. You look at my disciplinary record in high school, not one, not one blemish. I don't either. Not a single thing. Time out. Do they have that? Yeah, it's permanent. Hey, they have it. You could go back and look at it. Okay, okay. But like, my thing is, I had not one thing. I was late to school, but I finessed around that. Besides that, nothing. No fights, nothing. Never in the middle. No drama. You missed a day of school. You definitely did. I miss. I miss school. Like, but like my mom calling. Okay. If I told my mom I don't want to go to school, she'd be like, "Cool." Okay. Wow. But I never wanted to miss school though. <clears throat> I didn't want to miss school because I couldn't hoop. Damn. Now that was why I just wanted to be in school. See my friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my but, dad was like, if you, "If you stay home, you can't go to basketball practice." Oh, that's Max. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, "No, no, nah, <laughs> no." But so Johnny used to like, we'd be in the lunchroom. I'll stand up, try to get some, like, I'll stand up, try to talk, you know, socialize. Mm -hmm. Just for two point five, literally as soon as I stand up, Tyrone, sit down. Oh, oh, on, on the mic. Yes, I forgot about that mic. I'm like, bro, what? I'll get up to get my lunch. Tyrone, why are you still standing? I'm like, bro, what? So that's why I started going to the library. I used to go to the library for like, yeah. You I used to go to the library and do chemistry? He called me a square. Yeah. Niggas that go to the library at lunch. Yeah, bro. I used to go to the library, chemistry, and then it turned into poker, and then it turned into like vibes. Who library. was there with you? Uh, Joel, Eli, Justin Howell. Um, the guys. John. Jose. It rotated, but it was okay, always, okay. always Justin Howell and Joel. Depends who I was with. So you was you was not those vibes. Sometimes Dolo, I would just go and vibe. So you wasn't those niggas that used to vibe at the lunch table. Nah, never. <laughs> wow, Junior. I didn't really have a. Ta I had a table with like Edgar and them, but like me and Edgar would dip too sometimes. It, sometimes I'd just go Dolo. Wow. But usually Justin just would go sleep, and I'll just be chemistry just vibing. Nigga, we used to be in lunch. You, you ever heard of Fritz Fridays? What is a Fritz Friday? Nigga, that's when you battle rap and you gotta say Fritz. You gotta Fritz, say you gotta, Fritz. You have to rhyme something with Fritz, and you gotta rap about Fritz. Fritz Fridays. I wasn't there, but I used to see the videos of it. Nah. Now, them lunch tables, those are... Yo, I don't know if you knew. There is a guy on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. His name is Chunky. You know who Chunky is? Look him up right now. Just look him up right now. Chunky? And what, what about him? I, I'll tell you once you look him up. Just, look, just search up Chunky. He got a mohawk or some shit. I don't know if he's ever going to watch this, but you know my... You know me, my nigga. I, you, did, you, did you find him? Is he white? He black. Just chunky? Yeah, yeah. You see it, right? Yeah, this, he's kind of skinny. Let me see. Is he? No way. No way. Wait. I think he's about... <laughs> oh, wait. Nigga, this is a dance move. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Let me see. The fuck? Where is the? Oh my fucking god! What was his name? Damn. Wait, I'm gonna look up on YouTube. I'm gonna look up on YouTube. He's fat. Nah, he's not fat. He's like he's like 
He like built like me. What do you do? Hold on. I, I, I got to show you him first. Turn it off to the right. What is his name? Ch- is it Chunks? Was it Chunks? What's his name? Uh, Chunk. What was it? Chunks? What was his nigga's? No. What was his fucking name? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to get pissed off. Because I need you to see. Because this nigga's like famous. I'm sorry, people. This is like a little... I got... I really, Oh, this... this. What? This nigga started off... Oh, I think it's... This shit is called It's Chunky. It's Chunky. This nigga. This... This, this motherfucker right here. Do you see him? Did you ever see this nigga ever in your life? I'll move a little closer to the mic tie if you can. My fault. Let me see. Have you ever seen that nigga in your life? Why he look like that? Let me, let me make sure it's the right guy. Is it the right guy? Yeah, yeah. That's the right dude. I I never seen him, but yeah. Now, let me tell you. Junior No, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Junior year of high school, we was in lunch. First day of lunch. We, You know, we all got our table. We all know each other. New kid comes up, sits at the table, doesn't say a word, doesn't speak nothing. He don't talk to none of us. If we crack a joke, he all laugh along, but he just, he chilling. Yeah. I'm the first nigga to walk up to him and say, yo, why don't you ever talk to us, brother? What's your name? He said, my name is Elijah. Your name is Elijah Wan, my nigga. I know you. I know you see me around. Yo, bro, he's, I'm like, yo, I'm like, where you from, bro? He never, he never told me where you from. I'm what? like, so, I'm like, what? And like, we look, I'm thinking this nigga's like a dork. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, yo. So what do you do, bro? I'm like, you do anything? Like, you, you just play yeah. sports? I hoop. He's like, he's like, I mean, I'm I'm type fast. Like, I'm yeah. like, I could do backflip and shit. Like, <laughs> because he's he's like the he's like I think he's like a like the professional cheerleaders or whatever. Oh, and he's okay. like a professional like like them scooter niggas. I do the tricks. Oh shoot! Oh shit! And you do backflips. So I'm like, oh, so you do all this shit? He's like, yeah, yeah, I do all this shit. Like, like, like uh, I just travel a lot. So I'm like, okay. And then the next year, senior year, he wasn't there no more. It's like, oh damn. Next, like a couple months later, I see this nigga on Instagram and I, on YouTube, 700K subs on YouTube. I'm like, hold the fuck up. 700K? I see this nigga doing bad. He's doing vlogs and everything. I see him on TikTok now, 3.5 million. I'm like, yo, this nigga was famous. And and this was like six months later. Oh, so he was there and niggas had no clue. Niggas had no clue. I don't think I'm the only nigga that remembers him. And he literally sat right next to me. And lunch, like he sat on the corner of the table, like he just ate his lunch. And sometimes he would leave, you know, go to the library or whatever. But he was in our school. I know if you were, watch, I wish you, I hope you watch this. Yeah. You know me, my nigga. Pull up, Yo. chill out. Nah, nah, we don't want nigga on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but like, nah, I'm like, damn, what? I'm like, this nigga was, and like, we thought he was a a, a dork, like. This Damn, nigga, random, yeah. This nigga is athletic. This nigga is famous. Like this nigga no got clue. all the girls. There was a couple. There was a, there was a dude. Uh, Collins was his name, not our Collins, a different yeah. Collins. He, um, when Vine was popping, he had like some thousand. It was Collins O and Vine. I don't oh, know really? Him. Oh, D. He used to wear a wig though. That's why he didn't tell me. Oh, niggas. some shit like that. Yeah, niggas would have fried him. Some but, nigga in our friend group lied to us saying he had 800k subs on TikTok. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna say his name though. Yeah, we're not either. Yeah, that <laughs> shit was crazy. Yeah, he different. Yeah, he, but, might, yeah, he, he might be watching this. Yeah. Shout exactly. out to you though. But yeah. I got a question for you. So if I told you. Nah, that nigga a bitch. That nigga robbed my mans. But go ahead though. Uh, t- <laughs> nah, that nigga bitch. Type shit, type shit, type yeah. shit. Yeah, if I told you that in order you in order for you to live, you would have to be homeless for a month, and you had to raise a thousand dollars, would you be able to do it? And how would you do it? So basically, I'm telling you, yeah. God, how would you do it? Homeless for a month, raise a thousand dollars. You have to raise a thousand dollars, and you'll live. It's light. It's light. It's light. What we do is we go to Newark. Okay. What am I wearing? Yeah. Um, Appearance is everything. I mean, it's it's up to you. It's whatever you want. But you're homeless now. Like you cannot live in your house. You have no. So you saying right now? Boom! I just dropping my fit right now. Drop your. You can wear whatever the fuck you can. You can go in that fit. If you're wearing this right now, the first thing I do is I walk because it's clean. First day is the biz, biggest part. Yeah. I ask some landscaper or somebody who does labor, hard like actual labor. Yo, I just need a I need work for a month. Can you help me? Uh-huh. I go and do that. If I can't, if I can't, then I go and I try to get at least around twenty dollars a day uh-huh. for a week. So twenty times. Well seven. you could do can shake. 
Okay, yeah, just ask for bread. I the first week is is critical because I'm clean. Once you look dirty, once you look like a bum, niggas won't help you. Mm. Feel me? But once you look clean, get some bread that way. Then once I get bread there, I'm gonna buy something like whether it's a lawnmower or something. Ask yo, can I cut your your grass? Twenty. That's what I used to do when I was a young, when I was a, uh, when I was a jitterbug. You know what I'm saying? That's what I used to do. But the, you go and get that. You cut enough grass every day to get a to get a rack. You're good. But do you honestly think people want a grown ass man cutting their grass? Ah oh, shit, I'm a grown ass man. Yeah, like you're not you're not like 14, 15 anymore. Like maybe if we lived in Colorado, you could shovel snow. Like they, you might pass off as a. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm six eight two. Yeah, like it's you, a problem. That's kind of scary. I think I'm gonna do that along with. Nah, it's dead, bro. I don't get it. You don't think so? I don't get the K. I was I was gonna say I was just gonna keep going to stores, and be like, oh, I'm short change. Can I get a dollar? And I'll just run. A bean? Yeah, that's not gonna One work. One bean? That's not gonna work. You know how many fucking <laughs> a thousand times? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, never mind. It's not gonna work. A thousand out. times though? Yeah, it's dead for that, bro. You never you don't make it niggas out. Niggas in there. the comments gonna say they're gonna rob niggas. You don't make Y'all it out. Y'all gonna die. <laughs> you don't make it out of there, bro. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say fucking uh What happened? The bitch ass nigga Johnny, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, finish your story. My fuck, bad. Nah, you good. This fuck nigga Johnny, bro. You used to always gel off me, right? And then I remember first game my senior year, bro. He was already gone. He was running fifty fives. I was over here my my first first scrimmage. Senior, year, he comes in. Philly's like, come here. I walk into a classroom with him and Johnny. He's like, yeah, you're not gonna be playing today. Uh, Johnny said, you know, you were stealing from the lunchroom. I said, what? Me steal? When we go to the corner store, me, Chim, Mar, all my, when they're like, yo, let's take a candy bar and dip, fill me to try, you know, slip dollar store and steal stuff. I'm the one who doesn't steal. Like, they don't even know. We'll go to the dollar store and steal. Like, they'll take I'll, something. <laughs> I'll go to the. Wait, wait. I'm about to fry you right now, but wait, I'll let you finish. Wait, what you mean? <laughs> yo, <laughs> I'm going to let this nigga Tyrone is a fucking liar. Wait, what you mean? I told my high school, high school, high school. No, we were in high school. <laughs> this nigga, we went to the mall. This nigga Tyrone was like, yo. You want, like you know, you know the remember the little kiosk, yo. You know when you go wait, to, wait, wait, wait. you know when you go to the mall in the middle, they have like the little candy places that you take the candy oh, out yeah. the thing. <laughs> this nigga Tyrone was like, yo, you know how to get free candy? I said how? He said, look, watch this. He went, he went to go talk. Like, he's like, yo, he said, like, oh, how you doing? Yeah, like, oh, what kind of candy is this? <laughs> nigga starts taking the candy out <laughs> with his bare hands. He's like, and he starts eating it. Yeah, yeah while I mean, he's he talking good. to the lady, like, oh no, you got paid. He's like. Oh damn! Do I gotta put it back? He's like, she's like, no, no, you can take it. He's like, oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's like, that's how you do it. <laughs> I said, what? Cause look, check me, check me, check me, check me. That's not that's this, still, is <laughs> this nigga Tyro used to say. He's he used to go dude. into like Marshalls and see a shirt and take his shirt off and put it on that hanger, put that shirt yes, on. Yes, that see, that's the comp. Listen, this is let me tell you. You don't steal from the people who are good to you, right? Now those people, they're just setting them up. Those people in the kiosk, you have candy laying out. Yes, I'm. Yes, back then I'm going to take your candy. You have it. It's in an open container. <laughs> Don't you know I can take that? You feel me? Like what is going on? That's how you're gonna sell yourself. But look, you feel me? I don't take from the people who are good to me. So we'll go to the corner store by my crib. I'm like, no, that's my guy. Oh, you feel me? So did, they're taking shit. Did you steal that Hindu hut? Nah, I don't steal out of Hindu hut either. That's my neighborhood. Why would I steal from my neighborhood? I didn't, I didn't steal Hindu hut either. Oh yeah, yeah. I would never steal from Hindu. None of the, none Dollar Tree in the center. None of the my people I never take from. So I'm like, cool. They're taking. Oh, say it was outside your boundaries, bro. The mall. The people work at the kiosk. It's not coming out their paycheck. One, two. It's free, bro. It's free. It's free candy. It's open. They <laughs> literally said there's no price tag. Put his shirt. <laughs> puts his shirt nah, on. I'm not going. I remember freaking. Uh, now see that's that's a big item. You know what I'm saying? You coming up now? Nike store <laughs> niggas. That's niggas fucking will put, This is what niggas would do. We would go get a hoodie. You'd be like, oh, can I try? Can I try these two hoodies on? Or you have two hoodies, right? Yeah. You put one of the hoodies inside of the other hoodie on the same hanger. You do that for each one. You walk into the change room. They're like, oh, here's two items. There's four items. <laughs> uh, two hoodies in here. Two hoodies in here. You go put them on your body and come out with the same shit. You feel oh me? God, now you, you ran up. Now you just ran up a muck. I'm just saying. Wow. But you feel me? Lunch? Why would I steal from lunch? That's going on my record. You feel me? You feel me? Like I'm. <laughs> this thing is just confused. My, yeah. <laughs> that's going on my record. I'm about to. You feel me? I'm about like. <laughs> now you're about to know I'm stealing. So no. So I go. I was going to talk to um the homegirl Sarah. I was like, all right, cool. We're chatting up or whatever. I'm about to buy a water bottle. Uh -huh. Water bottle in my hand. Chan 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 chan. Then. 
we start talking. I start walking off the line because we're having a conversation. Oh, you forgot. And I, I forgot it was in my hand. We get to the table. I'm like, oh, shoot. Let me put this back. I went and put it back. <laughs> After I went and put it back, he said that I stole it. I said, Johnny, check the fucking cameras. <laughs> I started cursing him out in front of, in front of, in front of um, I almost said Joey, in front of uh, fucking Kevin Philly. Yeah, Kevin. <laughs> Kev. I'm like, bro, what? And he's like, listen, Tyrone, it happens if you just admit to it or whatever case about I'm like, I didn't take nothing. Nigga, after that, I went and got my dad. I got my mom. I said, this nigga, he's doing too much. He was trying to mentor me like I needed help. I'm like, I'm not a bad kid, bro. Yeah, I know. I grew up. I Like, half of the kids don't live in Union. I'm like, no, I grew up here. I'm a good kid, bro. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm like niggas that put the wrong I'm like, bro, I have a good GPA. I follow the rules, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm not even that good at basketball right now. You're doing the most. I'm like, what are you doing? And he wasn't he, those kids that threw batteries at the uh, at the freshman? I was the kid I was the kid who got thro- batteries got thrown hit? at. Oh, yeah. You got battery. Yeah, bro. Walk, In don't. the pet rally? Yeah, that's what you don't. Yeah, no, nah, I wasn't. Oh, I was never that, bro. Wow. wow. Yeah, bro. And I'm like, Johnny used to, he used to, he used to hold me. do the most? He used to hold me, bro. And then um, I never had to tell him, like, yo, I don't need you to look out for me no more. That's the hardest thing to do to somebody. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't need you to look out for me no more, bro. Like, I have a good dad. I have a good family, bro. Yeah. You don't have to go Johnny always like that. But, like, he didn't do nothing for me. All he did was hurt my... He, he used to hold me accountable like I was one of the BD kids. Yeah. He used to try to hold me accountable like... I think you why put, you why don't you have your hall pass? I'm like, bro, I'm going to the bathroom. If I was in the hallway, I was going to the library, the bathroom. <laughs> I had no reason to be there because I actually wanted to like get my grades right. Like, you feel yo, me? But he used to hold me, bro. We, yo, hearing this, bro, we were really some. We was really nah. some squares. All nah, I did yeah. was was hoop. <laughs> I literally all I did was. <laughs> Hoop and go to the mall, bro. I swear, Darius went to the mall every other weekend, bro. Yeah, I ain't God. gonna lie. This is every bro, weekend, every weekend, y'all would see me at the YMCA. Nigga, the why, bro, the why we used to why see legends. Yeah. Niggas don't know. You know what's crazy? Yo, Teray was really like bullying us. Yeah, he was. He didn't need to be at the YMCA. He did not need to be at the YMCA. Think about it. He was in college playing us at the Y. Yeah. Us kids. Yeah. Frying us. Frying us every day, talking shit. Damn. Remember Andre? Nah. Oh, no, no. That's Super Strong Steve. The Remember dude man's with the beard. Okay, yes, 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 yes. You always yes, used to yes, joke yes, around yes. and shit? Yes, yeah, funny name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I ain't gonna cool. lie. I was, was thinking cool. about him the other day, bro. Was, I was he like, like Russian? Uh, Portuguese. Okay. Portuguese. Okay. I remember, like, he, like, I remember I met him freshman year of high school, and he was a senior. And it was funny, because he started working at the Y, and I used to go to the Y all the time. And then our first year conversation was like, why are you, he was like, why are you eating that in here? I was eating McDonald's. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I'm hungry. Yeah. And he's like, yo, like, why, like, what the fuck? Like, like go, go hoop. Yeah, like, go work out. I was like, okay. And then he was in my gym class. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? He was like, yeah. He's like, Darius, what the fuck? What are you doing here? I thought he was in college. Oh, yeah. And then ever since then, like, I feel like, I feel like if I would go, if I would see him right now, I gotta take that nigga. Damn, Cause I ain't gonna lie. Go hoop. Cause he was he was a big he was one of the, he was a he was a good part of like my high school growing so, yeah, up. Cause yeah. I literally went every week and sometimes during the weekday and I was always see him. He like, used to help the weekdays. He used yeah. to help me like help me lift like learn how to lift Damn. weights. Like my dad taught me how to lift weights, but he also helped me how to lift weights. He always yeah. used to talk, talk to me about like life in general. Remember Tom, yeah, Tom was but Tom was Tom used to he didn't like talk to me like that. Like Andre used to talk to us. Like we always used to be cool. We always used to talk about shit all the time. Like yo, you remember, I, do you remember Super Strong Steve? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yo, remember, remember, uh, Superman, the That's other Steve. nigga. Isn't that Steve? no the Steve was dude. the black dude? No, I'm talking yeah. about the, the white dude. He was strong as shit too. I remember a nigga named Superman. I don't remember his face. Yeah, Super Strong Steve used to be able to windmill off vert. Yeah, and I remember me and Edgar were like, so why don't you you play D one? He's like, nah, I used to play college ball. Like, why don't you, do him? bro? That shit hard. Then we that just, shit hit that shit hard. He said it's not for everybody, man. I said that shit not for everybody. We said, but you can windmill. If you can windmill, why don't you just There's more to it? There's more Yo, to it. Yo, when he said he said, bro, it's not for everybody. Like it's hard to handle. It's a lot of stuff. Trust me. You'll yeah. if you ever get to play, you'll understand. I said, damn. We understand. Now I get it, super strong, Steve. Yeah, man. But Andre, damn. shout out to you if you watch this. I doubt you are. But hey damn. man, we got I got we got link up one day, go out smart, for dinner or some shit, bro. I owe you one. You, he, he taught me a lot of life lessons. I'm not going to lie. He's he guy. taught me a lot. You go, bro. But He's I got guy. a question for you. So I got a couple more questions, and then we get in the pot. Thank God that... Not thank God. I'm mad that big kid again. But we're going we gonna to bring that back. We got, we got some good shit. We got, we, gonna, we got some good shit this week. We got some good shit. So yeah, yeah. say Mr. Beast. You're on a Mr. Beast episode. And I, I got this from a... I a, love Mr. Beast, but go ahead. Shout out that nigga. He's like yeah, yeah. white Oprah. Better, bro. He's, he's the Oprah of us. I ain't gonna lie. So, he's low-key better, but go ahead. Say Mr. Beast, you're on his show. He puts you in a random room, 
and he says, count as high as you possibly can. And whatever number you stop at or want to stop at, I will give you that much money. How much would you count? So what con- what would constitute a stop? Like if I if you like I I'm tired. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm literally tired. done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm done. Done. It's like, yeah, one, two, three, four. Damn, I might only be able to count to like realistically speaking, probably like six hundred, bro. Yeah, exactly. That's hard as hell. Because he said like if you like if you really tried to count really fast, it t- it would take you forty days to get to a million. He's gonna give you food. He'll give you food, water, all that. You just gotta sit in there and count. You're going insane. Yeah, four hundred, one thousand, one thousand seven hundred thirty-six, <laughs> one thousand four hundred. That's basically jail. I ain't gonna I lie. Damn. And they say if you like, if you if you slow down, that shit might take months, like months, forty days to count to a mil, just a million. Do- Nigga could give me a million dollars in cash right now. I just need a Kato. <laughs> I just need a Kato. I'll be cool. That might take you like what an Pretty hour? Insurance. You said what? So you just take a, a thousand? Nah, a thousand probably take me like thirty minutes. You think so? I oh no, a thousand? No, no, that take me like a couple hours. Thousands, a couple hours. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen, seventeen, eight, nine, twenty, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty, three, twenty, four, twenty, five, twenty, six, twenty, seven, twenty, twenty, nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, you can get to maybe 20k. I can get 20 racks out of him. 20, I, get 20 I don't think you get 20 racks. You don't think so? Nah, bro. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do 10K. it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it for a full 24 hours. And whatever number I have, I'll stop. I'll do it for like 12 hours. Oh, move up a little bit? He's I'll like, do it for like 12 hours. 12 hours? Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll get That's there. cool. That's cool. Yeah, I'll get there. Yeah. All right. All right. Do I, do I have any more? Oh, this is my last question. So say I give you $10 million mm-hmm. and a random pencil, but... You must have that pencil on you forever. If you lose that pencil, you will die. Would you take the money? Ten million? Ten million dollars. What if it breaks? The pencil? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, it mean, breaks, but I have both parts on me. Yeah, yeah you, you just got to have to have it. I'm you just you. can't lose it. Ten million? Ten million. I'm but, Gucci. But you, you can't be like, I put it in a box. You have to have it on, on, you. on your person. Yeah. I'm Gucci. What you going to do? Hide it in my sock. Yeah, easy. Playboy Cardi, bro. He you go put it in your, the way. You go put a pencil in your sock. Easily. You're not hooping. I'm not hooping. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not hooping. Oh, I have ten million dollars. <laughs> I'll, I'll make it into a necklace. I'm gonna make it into a Low chain. Low key, I might hoop. Tape it to the side of my shoe. Why don't you make it cooler? Make a chain. I'm getting it. I'm making it into a chain, bro. Nigga, snatch your pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> snatch your pencil, bro. I, I, I'll figure it out. I ain't gonna lie. I might just t- tape it to the inside of my thigh all day, every day. You don't get used to it. Put it in my sock. And not even like here on my sock. Put it under. You good. Nigga, you gonna have that shit on your thigh. All day. <laughs> Why on your thigh? So it's not it's not gonna go nowhere. It's not in my pocket. Cause you pull something out of your pocket, it drop, you fall. <gasps> You're dead. You, <laughs> you left the room. It's done up. You feel me? I could definitely do it. I'm taking the breath too. So when you sleep. If I was you, put it in my hair. I used to do that when I had hair. Oh, uh, no, but like, I won't feel it. Ah, fall so out. it falls out. Yeah, like, but you got a pencil here. <laughs> Take that shit out. I'm like, oh. I'm Yo, when I used to have hair, bro, you know, I, because like when it got really tall, like I put it in there. Yeah. Like I put the pencil in there. It just filled me fucking around. I remember getting home and forgetting that it was in there. Yeah. You ever done that before? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, bro, that's. I did that with pens. That's amazing. Wait, did you like hop in the shower or like. No, nah, no, nah, like I just got home and I'm like, all right. And I'm like, huh? Oh, yeah, and it falls out. Yeah, yeah I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. That happened to me. I remember that like, me where's my pencil? Yeah. But you think you do it? Yeah, hundred percent. You don't think you could do it? I think I could do it, but I might fold. I'm pretty careless. Put it on the wrist. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like right here. Make it parallel with a bone. Mm. You have, you have ten million dollars, bro. You can make like a little gauntlet. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I just, I just, I just, I'm pretty careless. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think that's the one thing. I'm gonna get it on a little gauntlet. I'm straight. All right, all right. You, you got anything else you want to talk about? No, I'm gonna run it back, bro. Yeah, I think I think we straight. I think I, this would have been like a two and a two and a two. It was a crackhead fat question on here. Yeah, was, yeah. Okay. Thank the God. crack. The only thing that they was missing is go watch the Patreon. 
finesse these niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the people that watch the Patreon, though. We was talking about you on the other one, but... It, Bro, it we shouted there. all three of y'all. <laughs> so I think it's like Samaya Jones, shout out to you. We're going to get all y'all names in soon. I'm going to put it on the piece of paper. We're going to shout y'all out in the beginning of the episode. Thank y'all for tuning in for a new episode of No Records Podcast. Episode... Wait. What? Also... Tap into OpVision, my YouTube. By yeah. the time I'm gonna have my videos up on there, tap into OpVision, you know what I'm saying? And Link see, in the bio. see my tube, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna drop. You wanna it. see the life of Ty as a 6'8 nigga? Yeah, bro. This tune is what in. I be doing on a regular basis, bro. Type shit. With me and the homies. So tune in to the page. Sub, sub to the Patreon, only $5 a month. You get merch is coming soon. Oh, okay. New. About to bust. New tees for the summer coming soon. New. Episode 100 is coming soon. Three weeks till episode 100. Are y'all ready for it? After three, after episode 100, we're going to be in season two of No Regulars Podcast. And episode we're 100 bring, is a big one, too. It's a big one. It's I don't even know too. what's about to happen. I'm, I'm not even going to show y'all. Like, I might, that week of the episode 100, I might drop a, the Patreon episode just so they could be freaking damn. So they can be, they can build up. I yeah, might have a trailer to it. So episode 100 is a big episode. And then afterwards we might take a little break, maybe drop another page on episode. And then we're going to have season two, new logos, new merch. If you sign up for the Patreon, you will get, you will get new content, bonus pods, bonus content, bonus contest, discounts on merch. You get to talk to us. You get input on all the podcast information. All that's going, all that for $5. Get it now before that shit raised to 25. When there's yeah. a thousand, y'all niggas. We gonna <laughs> run it up. So, you know what I'm saying? Ty, you got yeah. anything else you wanna say, brother? Nah, bro. Tap in. We about to be locked in. Locked in, bro. Locked in, bro. We different. They record no records, man. Gangsta. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it.